Hi guys, just trying to get my mess cleaned up here. I've been going through tons of jewelry, uh, a massive amount of jewelry. Uh, we are going to sell a ton of jewelry today. Uh, I'm going to give some jewelry away today. Um, we've got some Pyrex to look at, uh, a couple of glass pieces, maybe one glass piece. I'm not sure. It's mostly going to be a lot of jewelry today. Uh, I went through a ton of stuff. Just, I, I actually just sat on my bed because it's the most comfortable place. Uh, this chair that I sit on right here just kills my back. And hi, Margo. I'm on top. <laughs> Yay. Uh, I sat, I took this gigantic tub of jewelry in my room the other night. I went through every single piece and, uh, so we are going to have a lot of jewelry today. Um, I've got a big pink purse full of jewelry. Um, so we'll go through all of that. So hopefully it won't take forever. But, you know, looking at pretty jewelry, yeah, who cares if it takes forever, right? Um, and then what else? I'll probably show my Murano piece again. Um, eventually just put it online, but, um, I'll definitely show it again. If anybody's interested in, I cut my bangs a while ago. Okay. I was sitting here. I'm like, I'm going to go in the bathroom and cut my bangs. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Hi, Krista. Um, yeah, I was like, I'm going to go in the bathroom. I'm going to cut my bangs. And so I did. I went in the bathroom and I cut, cause they were just like all the way down here. And I'm like, just cut them off. I'm just like, yeah. Hi, Deb's finds. Oh, thank you. I don't wear it down very often um, because it, it's just, um, it, it, it's all white and gray and it just, it's, it's like um, baby hair. You know what I mean? Like it's so fine anymore. I haven't colored it in, oh, probably nine years because it just, when I color it with the color it is now, it just, it washes out so fast since there is any more pigment in my hair. So, you know, I'm just going to be an old lady, I guess. <laughs> it's the way it goes. Um, I was at Rosie's sale last night. Debs was there. And, boy, Rosie has some pretty stuff. If, if you guys are looking for nice glass pieces, Rosie's auction. Oh, my God. Her name is Heidi. But her uh, it's Rosie's. You could probably help me, Deb. I, I just have her, uh, you know, I have I have her on my thing, so I just watch her all the time. Um, but she just has had some beautiful, beautiful things that I can't get my hands on. Because um, normally when I buy, I buy to resell, uh, except for those swung vases. I want those. <laughs> all I do is pack them up and store them. Um, but I'm going to go and do a sale with Rosie, and I'll bring a couple of good um, glass pieces, uh, with me. Um, I've got some G I've got a beautiful genie bottle. Yeah. Rosie's auction house. I've got a beautiful genie bottle here that's available. Um, if anybody wants to see the genie bottle today, um, now it is starting at $190. Um, I cannot let it go for any less than that. I know, but you know what? I, I don't have anywhere to put them. I live with my boyfriend and his house is really tiny. I mean, super tiny. When I had my shop, when I had my antique shop, I had all of them displayed. I mean, and they were all for sale. And, you know, they kind of just sat there and I was just like, well, maybe I had too much on them. Maybe I loved them so much I put too much on them and then nobody wanted to buy them. And maybe that's why I did it. And then one day I just went over and I just took all the price tags off of them. I said, you know what? I'm not selling any of them. I want to keep them. So I have a crap load of swung vases, genie bottles, um, even the little handkerchief vase vases like Viking and stuff. Um, I have a lot of those. Um, have some Fenton. Oh, I got all kinds of stuff I don't really need. <laughs> and it's the truth. I don't really need it, but you know, I want it. And someday, like he's been talking about building a bigger house. So maybe uh, someday I will have a place to display them because, you know, when you have something like that, you really should display them because they're so beautiful, you know? Um, I'm just, I'm going to look for my sale really quick so I can keep up with the, I forgot to get my 
cord out, so I'm hoping I don't run out of of um why can't I ever do this? But we're not gonna we're not gonna talk very long. We're just gonna get right started here in a minute. As soon as I find because if I don't, I'll have to keep going like this. It makes me look young. I will wear it every day, just like this. <laughs> I'm gonna get up every day and I'm gonna curl my hair. I you know, I really wish that I could, and I really wish that I had um time to do it like that, but I don't. I wish I did. I guess, can I just put my name in here and my live show will come up? Yep, that's the easiest way to do it. I just found the easiest way to do it. There we go. Yeah, and I miss having my shop every once in a while. Sometimes I think, oh, should I? And then I go, no, you're not opening anything else, you know. Um, I'm too old, and I'm. this is enough for me. I love doing this, and I help my friend at her cafe just about every day. And uh, so this is enough for me. Um, I, If I get too tired to help her, then I can do this, you know, you know, another sale a week or something like that. But I, I am going to talk to Rosie. You know, we've talked about it before about doing a sale together. And um, so I am going to get together with her soon and see if she wants to do, if she still wants to do something. I, I think she does. Um, and she's really cool, you guys. You would love her. If you are, like I said, if you are looking for beautiful, amazing glass and other things, she has lots of different sales. Um, she does a boutique, uh, she does a boutique sale also where she does clothes and purses and Dooney and Burks and, um, and so nice. Um, so make sure you check her out. It's Rosie's auction house. And I said, I'm a reseller and I've bought things from her before that I could actually sell. So her, I think her prices are good. Um, now when it comes to all of her, uh, Fenton and stuff like that. You know, there's a lot of Fenton lovers out there and everybody's wanting it. So you got to really get in and bid when, if you want some of her Fenton. Oh, thank you, everybody. D. Stahlschmidt. She's my sister. Mm. Like I said, we're not going to talk. I'm going to put my coffee over here somewhere. We're not going to talk a whole lot. We're going to rock and roll today because we have a lot of jewelry to get through. Um... And then again, I'm going to offer my Pyrex today. Um, it's the um, gooseberry, the pink gooseberry. Um, I'll just, um, well, if anybody wants to see it right now because they have to leave or they're, you know, they can't stay long, let me know and I'll show it to you. It is in excellent condition. Um, it, it, it is shiny. Um, the lady never used it. Nobody was allowed to touch it. Um, so it is in very, very, very good shape. Uh, I have seen those things go for $350, $400. There's a lady uh, about an hour from here. There's a, an antique store called the uh, Antique Schoolhouse or something like that. And she has like $425 on her. I don't know if she'll ever get that sold, but maybe. Um, I'm, I'm asking two ninety for mine. That's a reasonable price. Um, it, cause it's in really good shape. If you're getting it from me, I promise you it's in good shape. And I, I'm a good packer. <laughs> I'm a good packer. Okay. Let's, let's start out with, um, let's just start out with a jewelry bag. Uh, like I said, I have this oh my goodness. today. This is a really cute bag. Um, it's H-O-X-I-S. It's not a big designery kind of bag or anything, um, but I have seen these bags online sell pretty good. So if you're looking for a resale bag, I mean, you might be able to get 25 out of it or something like that. It's in good shape, nice and clean. And the pink for summer is nice. So this thing is loaded full of jewelry. And so that's going to be available today. 
I'm going to go ahead and just start with this purse so I can get it out of my way because it's swinging. There is no jewelry in this. Uh, it does have the tag. It is new with tags. It's just not hanging on it. This is such a cool purse. Uh, this is called Travel On, um, and it's an anti-theft, slash-proof body panels, locking compartments, um, and then it also is that blocking. So if somebody's trying to get your uh, credit card numbers or whatever, uh, this and it is beautiful. It is really a really cool purse, like a little cross. Well, I wouldn't say little. Um, it's a nice crossbody, um, and it's kind of like that nylon-y kind of stuff. Uh, I've seen this particular purse, and I can show it to you on eBay. They have it for $50. These sell anywhere from about $50 to about $150, depending on the style and the size and all of those kind of things. But this is new, never been used, very nice bag. Uh, it is the Travel On. You can look them up anti-theft just go to your um, ebay and then put in the i always put in the highest so i can see kind of what and then scroll down uh and see what they're going for anyway we're gonna start this one at twenty dollars this is a really nice bag if you're traveling this this summer or whatever i'll measure it from the top of the strap it's about 13 inches long, and then you've got the strap uh, coming down. Really pretty teal, kind of aqua -y teal color. Starting it out at $20. Still has the tag, just came off. Let's see a price on this one, like where they had this. Oh, and you can also buy these bags at www.travelonbags.com be a spokesman for them or something here's the tag i'm going to put it right back inside here um all sorts of pockets and places to put your um oh and then look it has like a little light inside of it like you can like look down in there and find what you need to find that's what i need but all i need is a little teeny tiny purse because um, yeah, I'm not real good at purses. I like small ones. I've got a big one, and then I'm like, God, why did I do that? Starting it out at $20. And there's also a pocket on the back of it. Like I said, you know how the people are scamming now, and they just go, they can actually go buy your purse or whatever, and they can, like, scan your credit cards and stuff. I'm like, what? They wouldn't get much off of mine, so they can scan it all they want to. <laughs> I've got Margo at 20. I promise you, Margo, this is a very nice bag. And like I said, if you go online, you'll see these. They sell for more than that if, if they're new. Now, there are people that offer them used, but this one is new and still has the tag. And if Margo is the only one that I have, I don't see anyone else. I'm going to go ahead and put my stop in. You need to be above the stop to bid. If you are not above the stop, your your bid will not count. Hi, Judy. I missed you last week. I said she must have had something way important to do to miss a jewelry sale. And we're going to go ahead and automatically give this one to Margo. Margo, you will not be disappointed in this bag. Very nice bag. I'm going to lay it over here so it doesn't get all messed up. It was just swinging off this table, and I'm like, I'm selling it first to just to get it out of my way. Oh, you're welcome. Yo, she was busy. Yeah, you'll love it. And then, and also we can put a lot of jewelry in it that you're going to get today, right? <laughs> Margo says, I don't know about that. And we're going to make bags today. I have got a ton of jewelry that I have set uh, to the side over here that we can add jewelry all day long. Mm -hmm, we can. So, and then I also have some uh, vintage pieces today, uh, like not vintage, but like antique pieces today that I just thought were beautiful. 
Um, and then look, I'm going to show you guys what I scored. I have to have them looked at and cleaned and all that stuff. These two rings, I scored these two rings. They're men's rings. Look at the diamonds in there. And it is marked 10 karat gold, 10K with the diamonds at a thrift store. And then this one, it looks to be a sapphire. Um, now, I don't know if anybody's interested in real uh, gold or men's rings from me. I, I don't know. I've never had anybody ask for them. But, uh, and then this one is uh, like a sapphire and it's marked 10 carat. Got them at a thrift store. I bought jewelry and then these were there and I was just like, I told the lady, I was like, when I was buying them, I said, you know, this is 10 karat gold. I think, Deb, are you still here? I got them from the treasure store. Yes. So I was like, woohoo. I was happy. I might have even told you that, Deb. It was exciting. They've been laying in this drawer over here. Just laying in the drawer, laying in the drawer. Here's your first bag. Cute little bag. Uh, you know what, Deb? Let's see. Um, I just stuck them back over here. I haven't had them cleaned or looked at or anything yet, so I'm going to do that. And, of course, you'll always get a better deal from me than you will at a jewelry store. Uh, this one appears to be... That's so weird about these things. This is an eight and a half or a nine on the, the sapphire. And then the diamond one... I think it's about a size 10. I'm going to have all the diamonds checked out in it and everything cleaned. And then I'll probably put them up. I'll put them up for auction here. And if they don't work here, I'll take them somewhere else. But that's okay. You know, I'm going to offer them to you guys first. And you know that. So, all right. So, here's your first bag. This bag is going to start out at $12. And if we get bids, I add jewelry. If we don't get bids, the bag is what the bag is. Yeah, no problem. And like I said, I'm going to have them all like cleaned and looked at and, you know, because I don't want to sell something if I don't know what it is. So here's your first brooch. It is a gold tone brooch. It is a vintage brooch. It is unmarked. That will be in this little bag. The bag starts at $12. Here are some very pretty clip-on earrings. I, this thing is driving me nuts. I have the worst lighting ever. These are some clip-on earrings that will be in here. And then this little snake chain. I like these things. They feel like a slinky. They do. They feel like a slinky. That will be in here. Now, the purse today, the big purse, uh, it'll have some uh, sterling in it. And then these are vintage screwbacks. Really pretty with the black enamel with those little rhinestones sit in there. Uh, they are screwbacks. This is from all that jewelry I bought a couple years ago. Still selling out of all those. So those will be in your bag. I put um, most of this jewelry that, that was from her, uh, she quit collecting in the 90s. So I don't think she really added too much more, you know, after that. So most of this jewelry is, well, the very first stuff that I sold was like late 1800s, early 1900s. And um, I sold all that stuff pretty quick. But I'm still finding pieces in there. Um, and then these will be in your bag. Really cute. I didn't even put any earrings on because I knew you wouldn't be able to see them with this hair all flipped out. And here is another necklace. Here is a cute little bracelet. And then here is Eeyore, the Disney guy. Now this, this bag starts out at $12. This is Eeyore, if you like the Disney. He's got little balloons or something on his, his back. It's really cute. 
Mm, excuse me. I'm sorry. And then here is a little brooch. I think this is an older one. But it's really pretty. Look at the back of it. Definitely an older one. Got that pink stone in the center. So all of this is going into that bag. It's starting out at $12. And I have Margot at $12. It's a lot of jewelry for $12. So you got the pink the little bracelet and these are really nice these uh screw back earrings super super pretty that's going in your bag uh -oh. what did i drop i looks like i think i dropped a brooch and then those earrings super i almost kept these for my friend i was like she would love those and then here are some here is a very slinky necklace and then this is a really pretty gold tone vintage brooch with a little pearl on it. And then here are some more clips. Hi, Carol Campbell. Really pretty little um, clips. And then this little necklace. And I dropped something and I will pick it up before Harley gets it. Although he's probably busy with his bone. I put peanut butter in it so he would uh, be good and just lay down. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so this one, and since Deb's bid, we're going to go ahead and we're going to find something else uh, for the, um, oh, this is gorgeous. This is vintage also. It's got those Aurora Borealis stones in it. It's not a real big brooch, but look how pretty that is. I hope you can see it because this thing really sparkles. He said, it's not real big or anything. And anytime you need me to, if you're new here, anytime you need me to measure something, just ask and I'll do it if I can find my ruler. Because I lose it all the time. That is about one inch on this little. Really pretty. Um, like I said, I wish you could see it. Gold tone. It's got those Aurora Borealis stones in there. Back's very nice on it. And that's going to be in your bag. Still bidding. So we will we'll grab. Oh, I love this. And I almost kept this too. I almost kept this too. Because it's so pretty. Margo says out, but she might get back in. She see the necklace. Look at this. Hello. It is so pretty. Is it showing up? This is such a pretty necklace. Um, I don't see any markings or anything on it, but it's kind of a, sh those beads are a shimmery, uh, champagne-y color. Just really pretty. The stones are really nice in it. Um, and always remember, if it ends up being real gold, uh, please uh, send me an Applebee's card or something and say thank you. <laughs> yeah, this is just gorgeous. I know, Deb, I found some good stuff out there. I'm going to tell you what I told them the other day when I was out there. I miss, I miss you. And I told the girl, I said, this store's turning to crap. So I told her, I meant it, Deb. I meant it, Deb. That is so, so pretty. Okay, so I've got, I know, Margo, this is such a pretty necklace. Um, so since um, Margo is out, she didn't jump back in there. We are going to mark it sold. Well, actually, first I'm going to put in my stop. And then Margo says out, so we are going to sell it to Deb. Congratulations, Deb. Yay. Get my little stickers out. I've got so much jewelry today. Four fifteen. 
And they've got a lot of nice jewelry for $15. You need to get that at Walmart. There you go. Okay. Next, we are going to do this little... This is uh, Indiana glass. It is uh, like an iridescent... Uh, I guess that's what you want to call it. Carnival glass. Um, really pretty piece of glass. I, I'm stick, I stuck my little fairy. Oh shoot. I hate it when it flashes. I stuck my little fairy light in there because I think it'd be really pretty if you put your, a, a fairy light, uh, down in there. I just think it's really pretty. I didn't find any chips or cracks or anything on it. Um, a little dusty, but other than that, it's, and it is Indiana glass. Uh, I'm going to start it out at $14. $14 a Delores. Super pretty. Super pretty. I know I sell lots and lots of jewelry. I usually, I don't do a whole lot of glass. But I do like doing, it's almost 8 inches actually. Yeah, I know, Deb. Deb's first win. Yay! Deb's new to the channel. Very, very nice. Let's see. This is February 23rd, and this is Indiana Glass. And we're starting it out at $14. It stands about um, 8 inches tall. It is that kind of iridescent -y green. Um, car they call it carnival glass. Um, very pretty. Here is the inside of it. We're starting it out at $14. Very pretty. I like it with the light in it. And we won't stay too long on items if we don't get any bids. So we can, because we have a lot of uh, jewelry to go through. It does look like a flower. Uh, it kind of reminds me of an opened up tulip or something. Really pretty. I say I like it with the I like it with the light in it. Like you could set it on a table and it would look like a little lamp, but it's not a lamp. It's like a little, I think it's a, called a candy dish, actually. And then it does have the little scalloped um, edges on it. Like I said, we won't stay too long on that stuff so we can get to our jewelry. We're going to get to the jewelry. Well, I, actually, what I'm going to do is move some of this glass stuff out of the way. Now, this is a beautiful old box. Um, I do believe it's all hand-painted. Shuts nicely. And then it is marked on the bottom. I don't know the marking. There's an L. So it's like, is it left in? I don't know. But it is marked on the bottom. Beautiful little piece to store some jewelry. Like even like, like your pearls or something. Beautiful strand of pearls just sitting on your dresser and just have them in there. And then just have them kind of draped over it or whatever would look really pretty. Beautiful little piece. We're starting it out at $14. Sounds like I like $14 today, but um, you're looking at about maybe four and three quarters inches. Very nice old piece. Cute on your dresser. In the bathroom. Heck, you could open it up and put cotton or what do you call them? Your things. I don't know. Swabbies. In very good condition. Does like lean a little wiping off maybe, but you know. Y'all know me. Opens and closes very, very nicely. Have Debs at $14. I was I probably should have put this on my um, video. Uh, maybe I did put it on my video. I'm not sure because um, I thought Susan Romy would be like, "Woohoo!" 
She loves all this pretty stuff. Say so it's in really good condition. I will wipe it down before I send it to you because it does need some wiping off. But it is really pretty. The colors on it are amazing. And I do believe that is all hand painted. Is my mama here today? Mom, are you here? Remember, you have to be above the stop if you want to continue to bid. So if you want in, please get in. If not, this is going to go to Debs. This is going to be her second purchase. She's fine with that, aren't you, Debs? She's like, I don't have to fight much here. Nope. Pretty easy around here. Um, it's yours, young lady. And Des, I usually uh, invoice on Sunday. Sometimes if I get a chance, I start doing it a little bit early. Um, but usually everybody has their invoices by uh, a Sunday. And that little thing will be bubble wrapped so well, you'll be like, how in the heck? Oh, am I going to get it out of here? You're here but working. What are you working on? Mom's work. Mom, what are you working on? I think she's making things up right now. <laughs> You're welcome. Mom, I think, Mom, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. Here's our next little bag little i think it's silk or satin or something cute little bag with the flower on the front it's full of jewelry okay our first piece is birthday dinner oh that's right that's right that's right that's right this one is signed T-A-T. -T. Hi, Mary Dugan. This one is signed T-A-T. -T. It is a gold tone vintage brooch. Signed T-A-T. -T. I don't know. Um, I love this. And she had $25 on it. Debs, I bought a bunch of jewelry from a lady a couple years ago. Um, about 600 pounds of jewelry. And... Um, I'm still going through all of it. I mean, there was a ton of it. Um, so you, sometimes if you see me do this, uh, it's because what this is what she had on this brooch. So if you ever get a little baggy and it has a price tag on the front of it, it's just because of what she had on there. Uh, this bag is going to start out at um, $12. Look at this is really pretty. It's got some enamel going around right here, little blue stones. And then there's some rhinestones right in the center of it really pretty little butterfly now i love these i love these clip-on earrings they remind me uh, and, and they're not gucci and they're not you know whatever but they just remind me of like some rich lady walking down rodeo drive or something i don't know i don't know why again they are they they are not gucci but I'm just saying that's what they remind me. Why am I so dropsy today? Have you ever had a day like that when you drop something, you drop everything? Yeah, that's me. Okay, get these earrings. Aren't they cool? These are so cool. I can just, let me hold up one because that, that way. I can study it better. I don't know. Am I just am I just thinking wrong? I don't know. They look Gucci to me, but they're not Gucci. Very pretty. I like these. I do. I really do like these. Uh yeah, she told me when she came into my shop, she told me she had two rubber made containers full of jewelry. No, she didn't. She had about 12. Completely full. 
I couldn't even move them. I had to back the truck up to her front door and push them in. You should have seen the stuff that I sold when I first got it. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Here is a little bracelet. It will be in this little purse. Here is a little brooch. It will be in this little purse. Here is a little necklace. Now, it's, it's got a nice gold tone to it. It is not uh, real gold, of course. It is a little heart necklace. Not real gold, but it's very gold toned. Uh, here is a pair of vintage clip-ons. Again, this bag is starting out at um, $12. These are big size clip-ons. Very, very, very pretty. Um, these are marked Coro. These do have the mark on them. They are Coro. Here's the mark right on the clip. On the clip, Coro. That's always a good um, brand name. And then here is a really pretty silver tone flower. Oh, what is that on it? Got it? And there is a rhinestone right in the center of that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that was, it'll be two years in April, I think. And I still have a ton of jewelry. So that's going to go in there. And then here are another pair of earrings. There's quite a bit of stuff in the bags today because I went through a ton of jewelry and I just started throwing stuff in bags. Um, here is a cute little uh, pair of clip-on earrings. And then here is another little brooch. So this is your bag so far. Remember, somebody bids, we add to the bag. If they don't, then this is just the bag. And remember, it's got a cute little purse that will come with it. So flower, this really beautiful butterfly. I mean, this is really pretty. And then we had the little bracelet. Really cute little bracelet. And then oh, with the big clip-ons. These are marked Coro. And then these funky earrings that I really, really like. I really like them. I will totally wear this. Uh, I'm telling you. Uh, I'll just pick it up in a minute. A pair of clips. A bar brooch. This is um, marked T-A-T. -T. I don't know. Uh, and then here's that little gold necklace. Now, it is um, not real gold. And then here is a little brooch. And since we got some bids, we add the jewelry. Let's see what we're going to add. I say, I, you guys, I have a ton of jewelry to add today. Like, seriously. For a dollar each bid, the, the jewelry that I add is nice. These are gorgeous. These are screwbacks. They've got some really nice uh, looking stones in there. These are really pretty. Let me get one up close for you. See how big that one stone is? Very pretty. Very pretty. Those are going to go in. Let me pick up this dang earring. Lord Almighty. Lord Almighty. So uh, let's see. that I put that in because Deb bid. So 
I uh, let's see, Margo, are you in or? Oh, I'm sorry, these were supposed to go in there too. She's got twenty four dollars on these earrings. What? Twenty four dollars. But they're pretty, and these are heavy. And the silver tone on them is real nice. I see. I didn't take them out. She put stuff on cardboard, and she put stuff on like rubber stuff. I don't know. I don't see any name or anything on it, but uh, they seem to be really well uh, made. I found a set. Um, I found a set and I looked it up and I was like, holy crap. It's by somebody called Boucher. Uh, Boucher, B-O-U-C-H-E-R. I have it over here somewhere and I thought, well, I better hold on to it and figure out, you know, these are really pretty, you guys, and they're, they're well made. That's going in there. And then I found a, I, I found a little vintage, um, pen that's marked 10 carat and it's really pretty. I got another bid. So, I'm going to throw this in, and it's pretty. I want to say this is probably 1950s, 60s. And I'm trying to learn more about the old jewelry, and I've... Um, here it is. Look at the stones in this. <laughs> Can you guys even see any of this today? Look, there it is. Maybe I need to leave that light off. Now, it's not marked. It reminds me of Coro. I'm not saying it's Coro, but this is a beautiful necklace. The stone, the the um, the rhinestones in it are huge. Look how big those rhinestones are. Usually, you get the little teeny tiny ones. This is the big rhinestones. So we're gonna pronounce Boucher. Oh. Well, I like that better. Boucher. Bobby Boucher. Oh, remember that from the movie Waterboy? <laughs> so that's going to go in your bag. This is a beautiful, beautiful necklace, you guys. Beautiful. Like I said, I put old stuff in and I put new stuff in. So you get a little bit of everything. Uh, I thought these were pretty. Um, well, let's not do that. Oh, I like this one. Yeah, this needs to go in. This one's better anyway. I love her. This is a ballerina. Look at look at the bottom of her dress. The rhinestones all the way around the bottom of her dress. She is really, really pretty. Anyway, what I was going to say is I've been trying to learn more about jewelry and when it was made and da da da. And then I, I was watching this guy and I forget his name, but I subscribed to him because wow, is he knowledgeable? I think his last name is Adams. I think. And so I'm hoping to learn a lot by watching him because man, does he have some amazing pieces. So our little ballerina is going to go in there. And so, Margo, I just need to know if you are in or out. If you're in, I'll add another piece of jewelry. If you're out, we'll, um, you know, we'll, we'll go from there. Margo is in. Uh, let's see. Oh, trust me, I can pull from here too. <laughs> oh, I know what we can. I know what we need to add. Let's add this because it's so pretty. Now, I don't know. Now, um, Debs, I don't know if you're into Avon or not, but I also bought, I don't know, three, four hundred, maybe more pieces of Avon. Uh, but it's all older. Like, this is 2003. Uh, some of the stuff I bought was from the 70s and the 80s and things like that. Um, but I, 
Avon's beautiful. So gonna, look at this. This is cat's eye. Cat's eye. Isn't that beautiful? And it still has its original box. It's dated 2003. So it's 21 years old. So am I. No, I'm just kidding. I wish I was. <laughs> uh, Mom, why am I full of crap? <laughs> this is beautiful. It really is. And man, has it got some nice um, weight to it. It is absolutely beautiful. And it's called um, Blue Cat's Eye and Silver Tone Beaded Necklace. Cat's Eye. Gorgeous. Seriously. Of course, I'm not going to show up that great against this black shirt, but my shirt. I always wear black. Most of the time, you see me, I have on black. And why I just do. Hmm. <laughs> so that's gonna go in this little purse too. This is a really nice bag right now. Super nice bag. And for anybody that's new, when I mail you your jewelry, I make sure all the necklaces are separated if they're the fine chain stuff so they don't get all knotted and, you know, all that stuff. It just, it's a mess. I know I don't like getting my jewelry like that, and I don't ship it out like that. So um, some of the bigger ones I don't uh, wrap separately or put in a baggie separately because they don't get knotted as bad. But those little tiny fine chains, they do. Okay, if you want in on this, you need to get in because I'm putting in my stop. It is nice and full. Uh, lots of good stuff in here. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff in there. Okay, and so we're going to give this one to Margo. Margo got it for $16. That's amazing. Got a lot of good stuff, Margo. You sure did. You sure did, Margo. All right, I'm going to go ahead and grab my Pyrex. Oh, and again, like sometimes people just don't know if they want something like this immediately um you can always email me um if you oh you're welcome margo um you can always email me uh if you uh want it if you decide you want it but this is the set you won't find a nicer set i mean seriously look at the shine on it it is so beautiful it has all four of the nesting set in there this is the gooseberry. There's a hold it up to the light. I don't see any scratches or anything. On, I mean, seriously, the gloss, everything on this is so nice. There's the other white. I will wipe it out and everything for you. Um, just looking to make sure there's nothing wrong with them. No, it's just this is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then, of course, we have the large one. You can look these up. I show them periodically. I, mean, I haven't put them on eBay yet just because I really don't mind keeping them. Uh, so just let them sit here and I look at them. Um, I'm starting them out at $290. That is a start on them. One day I will put them on eBay and they will start at $325. This is a beautiful set. Absolutely beautiful. No chips, no cracks. They are shiny. 
they, um, I, I told you guys where the granddaughter uh, said they were not allowed to touch them. They sat on a shelf and they were not allowed to touch them ever. Like not ever. Hello, stranger gyms. Scooter's fine. Scooter, tutor, whatever. So 290 on these. They are in beautiful, beautiful condition. Oop, don't drop them, Toot. Don't drop them, Toot, Toot. They're there if anybody wants them. Yeah, they are beautiful. They are beautiful. Um. Darren's mom gave me, my boyfriend's mom gave me a bunch of Pyrex too, and uh, which I won't get rid of because it, you know, was a gift from her. And so when I had my shop, I just I sold Pyrex all the time, and I never thought, oh, I should start collecting that. But you know what? If you don't collect Pyrex, you should. Um, all it's doing is going up in value. Um, it, it's amazing what people are paying for these pieces. I have sold some amazing pieces in my, I had the hot air balloon chip dip. I, I wish I would have kept it. I don't, I was like, oh, why, why didn't I keep that? But you know what? At the time I was just like, you know, I had a business. I, I had to sell things to pay the uh, bills and, you know, I had to sell it, you know, I mean, bill people like to get paid. So uh, yeah, <laughs> that's the way that went. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's do some, oh, we are going to do these right now. We're going to do these right now. These are beautiful. Now, I know you guys have heard me talk about Linda, my friend that owns the cafe. She was kind of really like her grandmother. When her grandparents died, uh, she started taking care of Linda and her husband. And Wendell died. And now Linda um, has had to... Uh, go to a nursing home. She tried to keep her home as long as she could, hired a nurse. It was just hard to get help and make sure help was there every day. And so um, she cleaned out the house. I bought some of Linda's things. Um, really sweet lady. Linda's about 77, 78 years old, somewhere in there. Um, and I got some beautiful things from there. And these are some of the things that I got. Now, this one right here had, this one had a big, like those little brown spots, you know, that you get on hankies. I laid this in the sink last night and I put one little spray of shout and a little bit of tide in the sink, let it lay there for a while. And it came right out. I was amazed. I was like, Oh, this one's so pretty. I want that to come out. So I just, I flat dried it. And so, um, you're going to get this now. I'll tell you, I'm going to show you because some of these hankies are not Linda's. We are going to I'm going to show you all the hankies that were Linda's. Uh, so the one I just showed you was Linda's. This was Linda's. All these have were all in a box. They probably haven't seen the light of day in over 50 or 60 years, I would imagine. 50 years anyway. Uh, here is another one of Liz. These are gorgeous. These are absolutely beautiful old, old hankies. Uh, this was Linda's. The hankies are starting out at $15 and you get all of them. I know a lot of people sell them one at a time. I used to do that and you know, it just takes forever. So you're getting a good deal, $15 on these. Uh, this was Linda's, look how beautiful this is. This is silk. And I want to show you something. This one is signed. Uh, it says exclusive, 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 yeah, by Paula. And it still has the little price tag on it. What? I'm like, what? It says Mattingly's. We had a Mattingly's where I lived. Beautiful. Okay, that was Linda's. This was Linda's. Look how pretty. This one says 
It'll tell me down here. Pure silk made in Japan. Isn't that beautiful? Pure silk made in Japan. This was Landis. So if they have a little brown spot or something on them, don't fret. Because like I said, that one had it on there and I just laid it in my sink and it just came right out. Look how pretty that is. My God. She had all these tucked away. I mean, you wouldn't believe the stuff that I found. She just had in boxes. She kept everything. All of her school uh, stuff. Hi, T at Nina. Ne Nina's? Yeah. Oh, yep. You're from Rosie's too. So here's the other one. This was Linda's. Uh, this little one right here. This was Linda's. I say that because a lot of you know and I've talked about Linda quite a bit because, you know, I've sold a few of her things. This was Linda's. Look at that. I think she made these little things because I have a box of them. And then here, this one is. Now, this one you're going to have to probably unpin and maybe wash it a little bit. There is a little brown spots. But like I said, on that one, spots came out no problem. And then here, look at this. This now, this I don't. I, this might be Linda's. I'm not. I don't remember for sure on this one. But all the ones I just showed you were Linda's. Uh, this one says "Forget Me Not," and it is silk. How old is that? And it needs a little love and attention. But man, is it cool! Now, all of these others are were not Linda's. Uh, they are just uh, ones that I have picked up. Here is a little hanky. Um, let's see. And then I went ahead and put this one in there, even though it has like a little teeny tiny hole, uh, just because it's green and St. Patrick's Day is coming. So when you look at this one, you're going to see that it does have a little tiny, but I thought, how cute would that be just laying there, you know, uh, and put some, um, St. Patrick's Day stuff on it. Um, I just want to make sure this does. I don't mind if they have little spots. Now, this one does have a few little spots on it, and you'll be able to see it. Again, I took that one and just laid it in the sink, and, man, it just came right out. So these two being, you know, there's a little tiny hole in this one, but I still wanted to put it in because St. Patrick's Day. And then there's just like a little spot, but I think it'll come right out. I can't promise anything, but, you know, these are beautiful. Yes, they are all so, so beautiful. And like I said, she had these in a box. Um, they, they've been there for, for a very, very, very long, long time. Um, I love the pink. Love this pink and the kind of looks like a lace or whatever. Beautiful. But you're going to get all of them. And I know I've gone into... Um, thrift stores and things. And, um, they have, you know, five, six, eight, ten dollars on these things a piece. And I never even did that whenever I had my shop. I never, uh, charged that much for them. I always put like pin them together like three or four. And then I would sell them like that, you know, instead of just one little hanky at a time. But yeah, these are very beautiful. I'm going to get my uh, stop in. And Debs, I just need to know if you are in or out. We got one, two, three, four. I think there's five, six, seven. I love that one. I love that one. This is the one that I just put in my sink and the brown spots just came right out of it. Now I have to start counting again. Anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's thirteen of these. Yeah. Super great price for these. Oh, I've got Debs is out. So these are going to go to Carol. 
Congrats, Carol. Well, you know you got a good deal on those. <laughs> There's my video. Three hankies, Carol Campbell. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Always, 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 always. Okay, what's next? <clears throat> More jewelry. We'll go ahead and do the big purse um, just so we can get it out of the way. Um, so you're getting the purse with this. Um, it is in good shape. Um, it is uh, not a brand new purse, but it, I don't buy them unless they are nice. This to me is very, very nice. Uh, and the, the brand of it, it says H-O-X something. Uh, I've seen these purses online and they are sellable if you want to resell. Um, I have to try to figure out how I'm going to get all of, you should see all the stuff that's in here. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's super ridiculous how much stuff is in here. We will go through it. I will try to go through it as quickly as I can. There are some marked pieces in here. There are some, um, there is some sterling in here. So, and I'm just going to put it right back in the purse. Uh, so let's just try to go through it maybe once instead of, you know, twice. <laughs> like I, I always like to go through it twice just so I know you guys know, you know what you're getting. Okay. So first piece. This is a newer Tafari set, okay? Uh, i seen this on, I, I want to say Poshmark. I uh, I think it was Poshmark or Etsy. Which one? Maybe it was Etsy. Uh, they had it listed for uh, $25. Oh, the, the bag's going to start at $45. And wait till you see everything that's in it. So this, uh, like I said, this, I think it was Etsy. I saw this for $25, I think. Um, so it does say Trafari. I didn't see it marked on the jewelry, but I did see it on, I think it was Etsy. So it is a necklace and the earrings. It's newer Trafari. It is not old Trafari. So that's going to be in your purse. And don't forget the purse goes with it. The purse is going to go with it. Um, this... She had 35 on it. I did see this one for around 20 or 25 or something like that. It is a really nice, pretty brooch. I think that's uh, turquoise. Like, it's not real turquoise. I mean, the color is a turquoise color. So you're going to get that. Um, I'm going to try to bag everything again, too. I mean, if we need to go through it again, we will. Um, so that's going to be in your purse. Now this is, um, this is sterling. This is a really pretty sterling bracelet. I always forget how it opens. There it is. Um, it says, ain't nobody here, Harley. Made in Siam sterling. It's a really pretty bracelet. Oh, let me show you the marking on it. It is on there. Here is the bracelet. It is marked sterling. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, these are gorgeous. I don't believe they're marked, but she had $23 on these. And they are so pretty. Look at these earrings. Look at all those beautiful rhinestones in there. Absolutely gorgeous. And then here's the backs. So here's those. Uh, you're in, I don't know. I'm just grabbing bags now, putting stuff in it. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what I, I don't know what to grab. Uh, let's see what else is in here. 
And here are a set of matching pens, brooches. Um, she had 25 on those. They are two little matching brooches. You're going to get those. And this is a piece of vintage Avon from 1985. I love this and I love the way it matches the purse. This is a cute piece of jewelry. <gasps> Look at that. Wasn't it cute? Look at the way it undoes right there. Look at the little hooky thing. It just unscrews. I love this piece of jewelry. So, so cute. That's going to go. And it has its original box and everything. That's in there. Here is, and then this is unmarked also. It is a brooch. She has $22.50 on it. It's pearls that look like, like, like maybe it's like supposed to be grapes. Very pretty. So she had $22.50 on that. That's going in. This is a piece of jewelry marked Art, A-R-T. Let me make sure that mark is what it says it is. Sometimes I don't trust her. Yep. A-R-T. Beautiful silver tone on that. And it's a good size brooch, too. That's going in. And then here is a really cool vintage kind of belt. It's a belt. I mean, you could wear it for a necklace, I guess. I'm going to call it a belt. I mean, maybe it's a necklace. I thought it was a belt. I guess it doesn't matter because I'm putting it in there. You can wear it however you want to. It says NRT. I don't know what that means. But anyway, that is in your bag. Now, this... Um, these these are this is not a matching set, but um, it still looks pretty together. Um, she has thirty five dollars on the necklace. It's a vintage rhinestone necklace. This is really pretty. A uh, good cleaning, it would be even prettier. Um, this is the necklace. It's got that one large rhinestone right in the center of it, and then even on the little the where's the claspy thing. Right here. It is an older clasp. Like I said, she has $35 on it. But it was in the box with these. I don't I don't think it's a matching set. These are beautiful. These are beautiful, beautiful vintage earrings. This one does say something. Um, it says, um, oh, I can't remember now. G G A R N E jewelry. I have no clue. But that is in this purse also. Beautiful set. That's in there. So that's going to go in. It's in this little box. The little box has got some blue stuff. That it's not even an original box. I'll probably just baggy it so the weight, um, you know, so you're not paying for the weight. Oh, 45. 45. That's for everything. And I still I still have a lot of stuff to go. Uh, this is a beautiful old sweater clip. It does have mother of pearl right there in the center. And then on each side, it has the little rhinestones. Really pretty old um, sweater clip. And then these are marked. Japan. So those are going to be unshed. $22.50 on these. 
So those are going to go in there. And what else? I know there was a bunch of other. Here we go. I like these. And I don't know why she has $22 on these. Um, they are very old. They are very nice. Um, I don't know what that is. I'm not sure what that is in the center of them, but they're a really light pink color with this gold tone all the way around them. And then the little clips. They are clips, but they're really cool little pair of earrings. Those are in there. Um, now, this right here says Black Hills Gold Earrings. Um, they are marked, um, and they're really pretty. They are marked 1 20th 12 karat gold F. So I say filled, uh, but 1 20th 12 karat. And they are really pretty. And right when I saw them, I said, man, those remind me of Black Hills Gold. So those are going to be in your bag. Hope and Sesame. Put those in there. And, <coughs> excuse me. This says, um, is it Mademoiselle? Yeah, she has $24 on this brooch. It's a really pretty a gold tone. It is marked on the back. That's what she had. Yikes. I would love to do some night sales. Um, I know a lot of people work this time of day. I used to do a night sale and I did, you know, had quite a few people, but during the day people just work and I'm just like, well, again, I have a lot of people that watch and then get a hold of me and buy from me later. So that always works too. Um, here is, oh my, I'm out of there. Here it, what is that? Is that something on it? I won't sell it if it's something on it. Nope, it just came right off. Here is a really pretty uh, brooch. It's a bow and it's got little uh, rhinestones going down the center of it. That's kind of satiny looking. It's very pretty. So that's in this bag. Uh, let's see. Let's see if anything dumped out over here. Oh, I love these. These are so, so pretty. These are uh, marked. And they are, um, can't remember the name, but Lewis Siegel, California. Look how pretty these are. I would so wear these. They are so cute. I wonder if they look better on, on my camera. They got like these rhinestones at the top. And then just look at those little things. They are so cute. So those are going to go in the bag. They are marked Lewis Siegel. They're in there. And then I have some uh, vintage Avon jewelry that I'm throwing in there. I love these earrings right here. They do have their original box. Um, these are from 1977. They are purist earrings. So those are in. And then I have a pair of silver tone hoops that are from 1979. Again, these are all new old stock. Here are the silver, silver tone hoops. Really pretty. I would wear these. And let's see what else I got here. Oh, this is a cute little set. I mean, you can wear it yourself, but man, would this not be cute for like a, like a little granddaughter or a, you know, I don't know. I just think it's really pretty. Look at that. And then there are the little earrings. These are also vintage Avon. 
And this one is from 1987. 1987. I love 1987. They are definitely 1987. Oh, yeah. I like 1987. This bag starts at $45. You get the purse and all of the jewelry that's in it. And then here are oh nope we'll find something different to go in there because a little bead just fell off oh these are cute these are really cute these are vintage wishbones and you got a matching pair look at the wishbones they are silver tone I always think it'd be cute to give one to a friend and then you keep one or something. And then you had the other, what was it in this bag? I think I can't remember the red matching ones, but they're in there. And the same with this bag. Uh, the more, you, I mean, if you bid the dollar, I'm going to put another thing in there. This bag is very, very full. You are not going to get that much jewelry for $45 anywhere, plus a purse. And the purse is cute. Like, if you don't like it, I mean, as a purse, use it for a travel bag or a makeup bag or, you know, whatever. Um, whatever you want to use it for. Oh, here are some really, yeah, these are glass. So these are nice and old Aurora Borealis uh, clip-ons. Very cute little earrings. They are clip-on. They are glass. I mean, this is like buying maybe six or seven little small bags. You're just getting one gigantic bag. <laughs> and then here are some silver toned. These are nice. They're kind of heavy. I mean, but they're nice. The, the silver tone on them are very nice. So those will go in. this this is a vintage vintage avon 1987 it says it's a renaissance necklace i have no clue but it's purple and purple is my favorite color you guys know that This thing is mega packed, okay? Mega packed. I've got Debs at 46. I'm going to go ahead and get my stop in. Uh, well, I don't like to do that because after I put the stop in, I don't put any more jewelry in. So if you guys want to bid again, do so so I can keep putting jewelry in. Um, if you're, if you're, Margo says 47. So let's, oh, this is so cool. You, and you can look this lady up. Her stuff sells for good money. Carol, I can't even pronounce it, but seriously, her, some of her stuff sells for a lot of good money. Look how pretty that is. Very, what is it? Bohemian or whatever. But I looked it up and I was I was surprised that, you know, I mean, I didn't know her stuff sold like that. So this is a really nice piece right here. And I'm going to go ahead and throw it in. Mm. Hi, Tina. You snuck in on us. <laughs> and these are um, copper. You'll probably want to clean them, but they are copper. Very pretty copper earrings. I'm telling you, uh, this this is a really nice bag, you guys. Super nice bag of jewelry. If you're a reseller, um, yeah, you've made your money over and over.
Now I've seen these online. I've seen three bamboo um, bracelets sell for $16. Who knew? I've got two. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in the purse. I've seen three of them sell for like 16 or listed or sold. I can't really remember now. Maybe it was listed. Maybe it was sold. I don't remember. I just know that I sell the things, okay? Um, let's see. I think this is really pretty, and I think it is, I think it's old. I do, I really do. I think this is old. I, I look at the back of it and I go, yeah, this to me looks old. But I'm gonna throw it in. She only had twenty dollars on it, but I think it's worth more than twenty dollars. Look at this. I'll show you the back. Now, those are not, um, I don't think those are rhinestones or anything. I'm not sure what that clear is, but I don't think they're rhinestones. Uh, and look at the look at the back of it. You can tell that it is an older, it, it is an older piece. It's really, really pretty. Oh. Fun for summer. It's not a uh, designer or anything like that, but it's in such fabulous shape. You know, the inside of it is um, nice. Uh, it says X. Oh, let me see if I can find that tag. And I've seen these. I've seen these online. They, they, H O X I S. I don't know, but I have seen them sell online. I sold a travel on bag earlier. Beautiful, nice travel on bag to Margot. She's gonna love that. Um, there's this one. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in. There is a ton of fabulous jewelry in this. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, these are pretty too. wonder if these are marked. No, but I want to make sure the stones are, because I don't have really good vision. And most of you that have been with me for a long time know that my vision has just gone downhill. Look at these, though. Those are so pretty. These are really pretty. I'm going to put them in there. going in i have a big um basket of jewelry over here i've got like eight or nine ten rubber made containers not the little ones we're talking about the big 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 ones in this room behind me that are completely full to the top yeah completely full to the top so i'm just i'm looking i just want to make sure do you guys like does anybody like resellers or maybe somebody that has a husband that wears cufflinks? She has $35 on these. Um, I think they're really nice. I'm going to throw them in. If it's something that you don't want, you can just tell me and I can swap it out for something else. Like if you buy it, say, can you swap the cufflinks for something? And I'll, and I'll do that because, you know, maybe it's just something that you, that you can't, uh, use or sell or you know and when i put something in the bag if you if you um bid i try to put something really really nice i think these are weird earrings those are weird they look, they look like they look like boobs let me see hold on you guys hold on I have lots of stuff. I just want to make sure it's something that, you know, because if you're bidding, I want to make sure it's something that I know you're going to like. Where is this? Okay. I'm going to throw this in there. Now, I don't know if you guys like antique jewelry. 
Um, but this is definitely an antique piece of jewelry. Uh, it's definitely worth more than the dollar that I'm, that is, um, you know, you might think it's strange, but All right, look at this. I know you guys are like, what? Why would you think? I just think it's awesome. Look at this little horn. Now, look how it does up. It does have the old, old clasp on there. Super, super nice antique brooch right here. Love it. I love this thing. Am I weird? I don't know. Holly, what are you doing? Well, I'm going to go ahead and put that in the bag. I think it's super cool. I really do. I think that's a really neat piece. Uh, let's see. Carly, what are you doing, buddy? Let me see if this is glass in the center of this. I think it's glass. Does it sound glass? I think that might be glass in the center of that. It's like an amber kind of stone. I think that might be glass. It'd be cute on a hat. <gasps> or even in my hair. Summer's coming. I get to wear my flowers in my hair. I'm going to put this in your purse. Now, if we're getting any more bids, I'll keep putting in. If not, yeah, I think it is glass. It's, I, it, it's a, like an amber stone. It's really pretty. Okay, I'm going to put something in there that I think is amazing because um, since we're getting uh, the bids, uh, I. You know, sometimes really nice jewelry is unmarked. Um, I like I said, I've been watching this guy because I'm really trying to learn about jewelry, you know, better than I do. I don't, I'm not that great at it. Um, uh, but sometimes you have pieces that aren't marked and still they're very valuable. I want to show you this. I am gonna put it in this purse um because I think that it is amazing. Um, look at this, look at this brooch. And look at the earrings. Yes, there's two earrings. I'm just going to hold up one. This is so pretty. I mean, really, this is so pretty. Got to be Jason. Yes, I like him. Uh, I just ran into him. I haven't spoke with him or anything. Because I get my hands on some pretty cool jewelry. And I would really like to... Um, know better what I'm selling because I sell my jewelry really cheap and everybody knows that. Um, and that's why sometimes I'm surprised that I don't have as many people as I have, you know, because I, I feel like I sell my jewelry really cheap. Um, so I thought, well, maybe I better learn more about what I'm selling. Yes. Yes. And he has some amazing, amazing, amazing things around him that I just look in the room and I just go, wow. He, I could listen to him all night. I really could. Look at this. Is this not beautiful? Yeah, I watched a little video with her on it the other day too for a few minutes. Um, but things like this, I like, I would love to know if it is uh, worth more than me just putting it into the, a purse, you know, um, it's so, this is so solid. Um, so nice. It really, really is. I am going to put it in the purse. So this will be also going in say I was going to hold on to it. Um, but I am getting some bids and I'm happy for that. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the purse. If it ends up being something awesome, you guys let me know. Okay. Just let me know. I'm not going to be mad. 
just let me know. It is going in. It is going in. What did I do with the other earring? There it is right in front of me. And I've been putting the earrings with this and the brooch separately because I don't want them clanking around on each other. But yeah, I feel like I get, I mean, he gets way great jewelry, like great jewelry. But I also have some great jewelry that I haven't brought out. Um, I have some safari brooches that are, you know, I've seen sell for three and four hundred dollars. Um, I can't put those kind of things in a bag. So I'm like, eh. You know, I'd love to do it, but I guess I can't. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was too. I thought, oh, she's saying hi to somebody, and then she's saying seventy-seven dollars. I was like, okay. Hi. Well, we'll see. I have a new person. Hi. How are you? If you would like to bid on anything, my email is right there in the corner. Just let me know that you sent it, and then you are free to bid, young lady. Right now, we have filled this purse with jewelry. Amazing. Um, now and, and way back when jewelry. Um, so it's got a little bit of combination of everything in it. Super, super nice. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in here. I mean, you can buy 10 small bags from me and you're going to be paying the same thing. <laughs> but I do, when I do bags like this, I do put, I try to put some name pieces in there and, you know, some uh, pieces that are worth, you know, you bidding what you're bidding. So I try to do that. Uh, let's see. What are these? I say sometimes I'll pick out something and you may not like it, and I'm sorry for that. Um, let me move that out of here and I'll get into this thing. I have th this is full. This little tub right here is just a little tub I brought. Is this full of joy? Oh, that's so pretty. I'm gonna put this in there. Okay, y'all bed now because this is beautiful. Wait, till you see it? Look at that. It's not marked. But it is so pretty. Look how those little ruby things. Now, if they are real rubies, please mail it back. I will pay for the shipping. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so pretty. It is not marked. I'm sure there's a way to find out, like, who makes these things. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to watch uh, Jason. I just found him. I subscribed to his channel. Um, I think he is so super cool. One day I'll reach out to him when I get brave enough. <laughs> but isn't that pretty? It's a gorgeous, gorgeous brooch. Gorgeous brooch. That's going in. Margo bid, so we're gonna put something else in. There's a lot of there's some vintage Avon in there. There's I mean I I like vintage Avon, you know, I do. Some of that joy was very, very funky, you know, like super funky. What is that? I don't know what that is. Now this is cool. I don't know. I think it's old. I think it's old. Here's the back of it. If somebody can tell me if it's old, I think it's an old fur clip. Isn't that like an old fur clip? I wish I would have contacted him when I got all this jewelry two years ago and I had pieces that were like late 1800s and, you know, like I, it, so Weiss, Trifari, you, you name it. I had I had buckets full of it, and I think I sold it all too cheap. But I was happy to do it. You know, I mean, I really, I've made my money on it, so I I feel good about that. Um, one of the stones looks like it's a little off centered, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in there because I I do believe that it's I do believe that it's vintage. Um, as you can see, one of the stones looks a little off centered. But still really a neat piece. 
And I do believe that it is um, a fur clip. Or a dress clip, fur clip, something like that. Oh, okay. I will check. Let me just check my email really quick. And then I'll turn you blue. The, the reason I do the blue thing is um, if I get your information, then I know that you have sent me uh, and I have your information. Gotcha, babe. And okay, got that. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. So I'm going to throw this in. Like I said, the, the center stone is a little off center, but the, the rhinestones look really nice in it. That second one's just a little off center. So I'm going to throw it in there. And I will baggy a lot of this jewelry so it's not all clanking together. And, you know, especially the, the necklaces that have the real fine chains, you'll never get. Uh, uh, something from me um, like that that's not in a bag. I'm not perfect, but I, when it comes to doing this stuff, but I, 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 I do try my best to, you know, get it there as safe as I can. Hi, Harley. I'm busy, buddy. I'm so busy, buddy. I'm busy, buddy. Yeah, your dad will be home pretty soon. Yeah, you want to go watch for daddy? And there he goes, to the window. <laughs> to the window. Hold on, I'm just looking for something awesome to put up on here. Um, I'm going to throw this in there too. Oh, I think that's probably your jewelry making stuff. This, um, she had marked for hair celluloid. Look at that. Look at that old hair piece. You would just, I guess, I don't know how you would do it. And I'm a hair person. Like, I love, oh, it just flips up. Like, that thing just, holy crap. Did you guys see that? You push that right there, and it just flies open. Oh, come on. I just did it. <laughs> there it is. Got the little teeth in there. It says celluloid. Nice old hair thingy. I'm going to put that in there. And then I'm also going to toss these in. These are probably Japan or um, um, Hong Kong or something. Yeah, Hong Kong. And these are real pretty. They got kind of that sugar coating on the uh, in the middle. So we're going to put those in. Let's see. Where am I at? I've got Gina at 110. Like I said, this is like kind of like buying a bunch of little small ones. I'm just getting it all in one bag. Um, let's see. So much to pick from. But since this bag is kind of going higher, I'll go ahead. Now, I don't know if this is a good piece or not a good piece. Again, if it's something that you don't want, um, if you if you are the one that ends up with the bag, you can just say, can you take that out and find me something different? I can do that. Um, but this still has an original price tag on it. BJ's. Uh, $7.50. Um, and then I looked at this last night and this says, uh, solid copper. I, see, I don't know if solid copper is worth anything. I have no clue whatsoever, but it looks to be like a, um, sorry, I'm just trying to shut it. I don't know how to shut it. I do not know how to shut it. Ugh. it looks to be a, like a bracelet. But it says it is solid copper and it still has the original tag on it. And then if you open up the little, uh, you can tell it's older because this is like a weird um, closure. I've never really seen anything like that before. So if you look right there, it says solid copper. 
So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in the purse. Could be valuable. I mean, seriously, it could be valuable. Uh, let's see. What else? I try to put new and old stuff in. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. I'll find something again. I promise. Here's a little owl. Who doesn't like a little owl? Uh, yeah, everyone. So that's going to go in. And then here is, she says, vintage pin, $23. Now, this is really nice. Uh, the silver tone on it is super nice. And the stone in it, it looks looks pretty good too. This is actually really pretty. That's gonna go in. I love little animal brooches. They're just cute. And then here is look at this guy. He's cute. Oh, he says something. That better be your bone over there. Oh. Okay, I'm throwing it in. This is a little a uh, little elephant, and it's Trifari. I had no clue. I really didn't have a clue. But I guess if I would have looked at the back, <laughs> it says $22, Trifari. That is so cute. If you just look, look right in the center there, it's a little Trifari mark. Oh, not a mark, but it, it actually says it. I'm trying to get it undone. Don't get me all excited. Okay, yeah, it works. I don't want it to get all excited. Then it didn't work. But yeah, Trifari. Cute little elephant. If it had been a cat, I might have kept it. Although, Sam, you know, my little sister, if you are new to my channel, my little sister has a channel also called the Pink Elephant Parlor. And she is on every Sunday at 3 o'clock. And if you love vintage stuff, like Christmas, Easter, you name it, I gotta go see what this dog has. Hold on. I was hoping it was the bone, but it may not be. What have you? Now, you know where that earring's gonna come out right in the yard, okay? He had an earring. I told you if I drop anything, he will have it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, she has the pink elephant parlor, and she's on every Sunday. And man, does she get some good stuff. That girl drives everywhere, everywhere. And she has such good vintage stuff. Oh, Carol. <laughs> Carol said, wait, the owls are for her. Yeah, Carol does like owls. She does. I'm sorry, Carol. I'll find you some more owls, Carol. Oh, and I think this is really pretty. Um, it is... Um, <laughs> Carol's laughing. Look how pretty this is. Does it have a name on it? No. But look how gorgeous it is. It is a brooch. And it is a leaf, and it's got flowers right in the center of its sleeve, and then it's got all those little rhinestones. This is really kind of cool. I think I like him. Look at the back of him. He's just kind of a white on the back. But then you turn him over, he's that green, and uh, it's that enamel. And then every little flower has a rhinestone in the center. 
That is really, really cute. It'd be really cute for um, St. Patty's Day coming up because it's got a little bit of green in there. She had $24 on this brooch. Carol, 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 Carol. Uh, let's see. What else? Well, I'm trying to pick out the better stuff, you know, since I'm getting a lot of bids. I'm trying to pick out, I mean, I got a lot of good, of good stuff, but. What's this? What is it? I don't know. How about. <gasps> oh! What am I up to? All right. I'll go ahead and put it in. Um, this is Coro. Uh, it's fabulously beautiful. Now, it's hard to read the marking. But it does say Coro. It, and I'm going to show you. Yeah, right there. Okay. So, here's the brooch. It is Mark Coro. I promise you. Um, right up at the top, there's like it looks like the, there's a big long word there, but that's not a word. Uh, it's right up here. It says Coro, and then this is the brooch. Now all of this jewelry will need to be cleaned. I do not clean any of the jewelry. Uh, I'm so afraid that I will ruin it, and I would not be happy with myself if I ruined it. Um, so, yeah. So, that's going to go in the bag. <clears throat> she said, vintage pin, mark on back, can't read, $24. I'm like, I could read it. It was just hard to find it because it looked like there was something else. But if you look right above it, you'll see that it does say Coro. I promise. Um, I like them okay. The one of the stones looks a little funny. And I know people repair jewelry all the time. I'm not one of those people. Um, I, if you get me near glue, I will have it all over me, all over what's next to me. Yeah. I've actually glued my fingers to the table before. Yeah, I have. And I'm not embarrassed to say it. <laughs> These are just really cute. Just because I just, I think the gold tone on them is just really pretty. So I'm going to throw those in the bag. I mean, everything can't be Coro and Trevari. I know. I wish it could. But it cannot. Um, let's see. I say these probably need a good cleaning, but they have a very nice maker on them. Um, they say Kramer. Again, they do need a good cleaning. They say Kramer. They're really not that bad. They got that really pretty satiny finish on the inside. And just so you know, I actually um, do invoicing on Sundays. Everybody should have their invoices by Sunday sometime. It could be Sunday morning, Sunday evening. It just depends on when I get to it. it depends on what I'm doing that day. I think tomorrow we'll probably go to visit my boyfriend's um, mom at the nursing home. And then my mom is having a late birthday party. Uh, I love these. These are Sarah Coventry. Um, and I just think they're so pretty. 
look at these. These are Sarah Coventry. I think these are amazing. I think they're cute. They're going to go in. In, in, in. We'll put another piece or two in, and then we'll call it good on this box, on this bag, because people are probably like, hey, we want to play too. <laughs> uh, these are um, Avon, and they are $19.92. And I like them because we're getting close to St. Patty's Day. Look how cute they are. Little shamrock earrings for patties. Heck yeah. I don't have anything for St. Patrick's Day. 1992. I don't even think I own a green shirt. I think like, seriously. I'm going to put them in. Whoever gets this purse ends up with it. You are going to have so much fun going through all of this stuff. Like, I love going through all of it. I remember the day I got all those tubs of jewelry. Jeez. I just wanted to set and go through every single tub but there was just so much you couldn't you could not have gone through all that in in one day it's just like the um boxes that i just recently bought i bought i don't know 30 to 40 boxes sight unseen i don't know what's in them man love going through those things i like this brooch i think it's kind of cool i don't think i've ever seen one like it and it does have rhinestones in the top of it Look at that. It's like a little thing that your bow and arrows go through. What is that? I don't get it. I think somebody's tried to maybe replace the stone before. It's a little, it's not wobbly. It's just a little crooked. But if you're, if you're a jewelry fixer, I think this is adorable. I don't think I've ever seen one like it. I'm going to put that in. Hey, one of my... Shamrocks fell out of the box. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get around here, right, guys? Oh. I'm thinking that's super duper old. Whoa, jeez. Yes. It's just a pink purse. It is. I have uh, actually. I have a Michael. I, sometimes I do Coach and Michael Kor and stuff like that. But I had this pink one, and I just thought it was so cute, and it could hold a lot. <laughs> um, it's in good shape. Uh, I I try not to buy dirty purses. Um, I don't even like carrying a dirty purse, so um, I always try to make sure they're in really good condition. Um, you can ask the people that have bought for me. Um, I usually, you know, the purses that I get are usually very, very nice. This just, just happens to not be a designer purse, you know, but if, even if you didn't want it for a purse, a great makeup bag, a travel bag, whatever, pretty good size. Um, and this is, I, I'm going to guarantee you, this is extremely old. What does this say? What am I doing? Better wait till I see what it says. This says, oh, crap. This says Checo. So this is the Czechoslovakian. <laughs> I'll go ahead and put it in the bag. I mean, the bag's up there to 150. Um, so come on, people. Be my friends. Look at that. I'm not even kidding you. This thing is amazing. It is Definitely old. It says Checo on the back. Um, here is the closure. It isn't the the C whatever, but it is it is older. It's got a little bit of like flaking on the back, but it does say Checo right there. Uh, the stones, the uh, emeraldy looking stones, are beautiful. That is glass. This is beautiful, you guys. It really is. It's not real big or anything. And then the gold uh, 
And look, it's prong set on that stone. On each side, it's prong set. Like the back of it, like I said, has some flaking issues or whatever. But ain't nobody going to see the back of it anyway. Very, very pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw it in the bag. You guys are being very kind today. Well, you're always kind. But I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. It is a really nice old piece. And like I said, that stone is glass. Dog, I want you to go somewhere and lay down. Harley, you want to meet everybody, Harley? Are you going to go and see me, huh? Huh? You want to go and see me? Okay, come on. Huh? Oh, one, two, one, one, two, three, and one, two, three, seven. <laughs> he likes the number seven. Okay, say hi to everybody, and then you know what you can do? Go lay down. I love you. I love you all the time. That's Harley. Um, okay, so we just threw in that brooch, and because that is a super nice brooch. Make sure you tell all your friends about me. Or you'd be like, we're not telling our friends, and then we won't get all this stuff. <laughs> oh, let me take a look at that. It's cute, but it's not like, oh, but it is cute. Okay, I'm just going to randomly throw some more stuff in here. There is a pair of silver tone earrings. Um, let's see. What else do I have? Um, here's a little uh, bracelet. This is not old, but it is cute. And then these are just some silver tone earrings. Um, wait a minute. Let me look at these because the front of the bag says Monet on it. <laughs> Oh, uh, there's probably, yeah, who knows what's in that bag. Yeah, these little silver ones, they, these are Monet. Yep, they're Monet. She's got $22 on them. And then I'm going to put the bracelet in there. So let's see where we're at. Carol, yeah, I know Carol loves Monet. Oh, Harley's adorable. He is just the best little thing ever. I don't, I, you know, I didn't want another dog in my life, but my boyfriend wanted a dog. And um, I don't know what I'd do without him now. I don't. I don't even know if my life could go on without him. <laughs> Isn't that pathetic? <laughs> he is, um, he is wonderful. He really is. So let's say we are done with this bag. Um, just because it's, uh, people, uh, you know, I've got other bags of jewelry to sell. Um, here is a little tiny, really cute little brooch. Uh, do believe it is older also. I, like I said, I try to see missing stones. Sometimes I miss it. Um, of course, this one I can see very well. It does not have any missing stones. And I apologize for that. Um, I know some of you can replace stones very easily. Um, I can't. I Like I said, I promise with blue. Um, so if you find something that has a missing stone and you're not happy and you paid a lot for it, I'll be happy to refund you. If it's bags like this and there's one little missing stone or whatever, you know, you can still tell me and I'm still going to say, okay, I'm going to you know, send you something. It'll be in your next box or whatever. You know, I'll still do, you know, whatever. But sometimes I just can't catch everything and I'm sorry for that. Okay. So we are at, I'm going to go ahead and put my stop in. And when I do my sales, if you are not above the stop, when I put stop in, you are no longer allowed to bid. Um, so you have to be in above the stop or you can no longer bid. So right now we've got, um, let's see, I've got Deb Fines in, I've got Gina in, I've got Margo in. So all these people, could, even if they set out. You know, as long as they're above, they can still um, bid. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put my stop in. If you want in, please get in. 
Linda Near. Hello, Miss Linda. Were you happy with all your stuff you got? I hope you were. If you weren't, I'm really sorry. Just let me know. If you want in, you need to get in. So it's uh, Debs, Fines, Margo, Linda Near, and uh, Gina's Gallery. Oh, good. I, I was really hoping you would. I, I really loved the vase. and I mean, I loved everything, but for, for some reason, I was really taken with that vase. I just thought it was beautiful. Um, this thing is packed full. It is an amazing bag of jewelry. It really is, you guys. There's some old pieces, some new pieces, um, you know, pieces you may not want or who knows, give them away or sell them or, you know, do what you do with them. There is a lot of jewelry. I know, Linda. If I had a place for that, it would. I would have just kept it. I would have. I love that vase. I really did love that vase. The colors, I love all the earth tone colors in it. It was so pretty. It was so heavy, though. You know, if somebody tries to break in, you make sure you use that as a weapon, girl. How was the pie? Grandma said that um, the banana pie, when we, when we sent it, it was still a little warm because it hadn't been on the oven that long. Oh, I've got Margo at 175. Linda Nears at 176. I'm probably going to grab a bunch of jewelry and just throw it on the top of it that you haven't even seen. Okay. So I'm just starting digging right now. <laughs> and then I've got tons of more jewelry. We'll make more bags as we go. Um, it may not be as full as this or maybe some of the pieces, but I do have some antique jewelry here today that uh, we're going to take a look at. <laughs> she made cinnamon rolls this morning and the whole kitchen just smelled of cinnamon rolls and I'm like, stop it. I can barely get my pants on anymore. I'm beginning to feel like I love stretch pants. <laughs> and I need to stop because I, like when I smile, I can't even see my eyes anymore. I'm getting so chunky. <laughs> Margo can have it. Okie dokie. Well, ladies, thank you, all of you, so much. I try to have a purse on like this every week. Um, so next week, I have a... Um, uh, Michael Core in there. I I just have to make sure it's in good shape. I, I from what I can tell, it's in pretty good shape. But I won't sell them if they're dirty, if they're nasty. I will not do it. it they have to be in very good shape, or I just will not do it. Um, Margo, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw in some of these other things that were just laying here. Um, I think it's fun to do that. Then there'll be a few pieces that you didn't even know you was gonna get. You just be like, what? I didn't see that. There. <clears throat> full. Completely and utterly full. So, in a few minutes, we will fill this bag. But it's got some cute little hankies. It's already got some jewelry in it. But I want to go through um, these uh, scarves really quick. Um, we already sold the old hankies that were absolutely amazing. Uh, they've been stored for over 50 years. Carol got those. Um, they, uh, Carol, they're beautiful. I'm happy for you. They are absolutely beautiful. Thank all of you so much for bidding. I appreciate that so much. Um, so let's look at our little scarves. They are very, very cute. I'm selling them all for one money. All for one money. Um, it's just easier that way than going, oh, which one? What do you want? Number one, number two, number whatever. I'm like, eh. This is nylon and rayon, and it is made in Japan. Very pretty. Now, all of them will probably need a good washing. I didn't find any holes or anything in them. If I do find something like that, I always try to point it out if I see it. So here's your first one. I like this one. 
Oh, these are, these scarves are all of them, twelve dollars. And then this one has a little tiny, a little tiny mark. I mean, I think it'll wash out. I mean, it's so light you can barely see it. This is such a cool scarf. I love the colors. This one says, "Oh boy." <sighs> told my mom I wasn't getting old. G-L-E-N-T. I can't read it. Made in Italy. This one's made in Italy. Like I said, it does have a little spot on it, but I really think it'll come out. I just love the color. The color is amazing. Now, this one's fun. Um, it, it's wrinkled. <laughs> it's like really needs some attention but i think it's cool and i love doing i this is what i love about these of course my hair won't look good like it but i like it when they you know they put the little um yeah you know like that they do them in the hair i think that would be so cool so you're gonna get this one and you're gonna get this one i don't see a tag or anything on it, it looks like they tore a tag off but real pretty color This one is silk. And then with silk, anytime with silk, sometimes you'll see that it's getting a little thin. It's not bad. I don't see any big holes or anything, but always around the edges of silk. Like, see, this part right here is it's getting a, it's starting to gonna get a little tiny hole in it. Um, just take care of it. But it's so pretty, who cares? <laughs> like, seriously, it's so pretty. So we're going to get that one. And then here's this one. This one has a, a little bit, looks like, you know, when you put your foundation on, looks like it like, have a little smear of foundation or whatever. Soak it. It'll come out. That one that I did this morning, I was so impressed with myself. If you guys knew how much I hated to um, clean things like that, it's because it scares me. I'm going to ruin them. I was so proud of myself. And then I love this one. It's Christmassy, but you can never buy Christmas too early. You guys know that. Look how pretty that is. It feels so nice. I don't know what it's made out of, but it feels super nice. So you're going to get that one. It's a big one. So they all start at $12. And I've got Carol in at, um, I sent info to bid. Yeah, yeah, honey. You can bid anytime you want. As soon as you get it, you can send it. I mean, you can do what you need to do. Yeah. Yes, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, yes. Sorry, babe. Next time you say something, you'll be blue. Here's somewhere in this room behind me. I've got like a basket full of all silk. I just have to find them. So here's this one and this one. And this one, and this one, and this one. Again, they all need a good lean, uh, cleaning, good pressing. Uh, and I love this. I love this color. This is cool. And this one, and this one. All of them. Gina's gallery is at 15. And just remember on the little silk one, um, around the edge it's it's a little thin in certain places and then one looks like careful because it's going to get a hole but it's still really really pretty but I, I really do try to point out the things that i can see it's like right there can you see it it's very 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 thin right there but it's so pretty and it feels so good linda did you like all your scarves the other day I'm always like, I hope people like, you know, they like it. I mean, maybe I over-exaggerate. Oh, it's so beautiful. And then when they get it, they go, well, that wasn't as beautiful as you said it was. <laughs> well, I guess we all have different eyes. I got to pick stuff up. If I don't, Harley just... He just, yeah, he is, he's horrible, but I love him. Last night I fixed him chicken breast for dinner. I always, 
I make fresh chicken breast for him. He ate it and he was still looking for food. I said, what's going on? I had to make that kid a peanut butter sandwich. Carol Campbell says, out. Oh, Deb's in at 16. Again, they will all need to be laundered, pressed, however you do them. I don't do them uh, because I'm not good at it. And again, if you're not happy with something, you can always let me know. I always talk about it. Always good like that. Uh, Gina's in at 18. I think those are the only ones that I have. Yeah. Yeah. That was it. Yeah, he... Harley loves to eat fresh chicken. I just cook him chicken breast, you know, for dinner. Well, I mean, if I have a hamburger, he has a hamburger with no salt and pepper or whatever. He eats human food. And... um but he eats all good human food. That's why he is lean as he is. Um, but last night he just kept being hungry and I'm like, what is going on? And so I made him a peanut butter sandwich and he laid down and went to sleep after he ate his peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> He's too funny. The grand dog. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's okay. They'll be fun to go through then. Yeah, they'll be fun to go through. I'm going to go ahead and get my stop in. So if you want to bid, you need to be above the stop. Once the stop is in and you're not above it, then your bid uh, does not count. That way we don't get any sniping, you know, and everybody says out and then we're good and then everybody's friends. So Sam kind of taught me that. So again, if you're new to my channel, my sister has a, a sell on Sundays. And if you love vintage anything, I mean anything. She has it. It's the pink elephant parlor. That girl gets amazing things. I don't I don't know how she does it, but she does. But she drives a lot. Like, was it last summer? I think it was last summer. Maybe summer before. I can't remember. She drove all the way from we're we're located in Missouri. She drove all the way to New York just looking and seeing some of our customers and stuff and stopping and shopping. And she, and I'm afraid to drive to the grocery store and back. So really I'm afraid to be in a vehicle. Um, it's just a phobia I have. I do get in a vehicle, but I'm terrified. <laughs> uh, Debs is out. Okay. So this is the, the scarves are going to go to jeans. Gotcha. And with all this jewelry, I've, I've lost my pen. Oh, okay. Send Al to Carol. Carol, Margo is going to give you the Al pen. I'll send it with your order. Okay. Let's fill a bag. And again, don't forget, I have the pink Pyrex, uh, the gooseberry set, the um, Cinderella set. It uh, starts at $290. It is a beautiful set. Beautiful set. So, um, please don't drop on the floor. Oh, thank you. He found an earring while ago and just destroyed it. I hate him doing that because I, I don't like him swallowing those kind of things. It, it just drives me nuts. Um, no, no, that is so sweet. There's a lot of red and white jewelry in this bag. For a long time, I just started saving up red and white jewelry. I don't know why, but I just did it because it was fun. And so I have a ton of red and white jewelry. And my favorite color jewelry is red. I love red jewelry, so... Uh, so the first, and we'll add more stuff to it. So don't just think it's going to be red and white jewelry, but you're going to get a lot of red and white jewelry in this bag. Um, super fun for, um, 4th of July anyway, you know, and if you have a booth somewhere, super cute to put it out and decorate with it or whatever. Uh, these are little red, uh, clip-ons and they say Germany. These are Germany. And they are adorable. I love red jewelry. Look how cute those are. Super cute. Uh, this bag's going to start out at $12. So 
The, that's your first thing. Now look at this. This is so pretty. Uh, it does need a cleaning, but man, once you clean this thing up, it is going to be beautiful. This is a very nice old vintage brooch. Super, super pretty vintage brooch. Just needs a good cleaning. Like I said, you're going to see a lot of red, white, and blue. And then after I show you this, if we get bids, then I'll add different kind of jewelry. Um, here are some red beads. These are some really nice old blue ones. More some red beads, some white. Oh, I think these ones are, mar I think this one might be marked. I can't remember who this was. This Trifari. I can't remember. No, it was Monet. So there's the white ones. I know I dropped something because I felt it hit my leg. Lord, I need an assistant. I needed a system that just sits on the floor and picks up all my crap. <laughs> is that legal? Um, and then here is a really nice little beaded necklace. Um, these look like thermoset, I think. Like the, this, I think this might be thermoset. Red. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then here is some little blue clip-ons what does this say oh they say germany also these say germany uh more red beads red white and blue beads and these are all old vintage beads they're not like from like I mean, these are probably 80s and stuff like that. Some of them are like from the 80s or whatever. So more. This is just one. This is a whole set. They're together. Um, and then here are some red, white, and blues. How cute are those? I would so wear those on the 4th of July. Those say Hong Kong. Cute red bracelet. Super cute red bracelet. Very vintagey, probably 60s, 70s, maybe 70s. Um, let's see. Here is a very pretty patriotic flag. That's in your bag. And then we just got some little um, uh, red, white, and blue little clip ons, pierced earrings. There's a bunch of them right here. I'm just going to throw them in a bag right now just so. I mean, there's just a, there's a pile of them. I wasn't going to go through and show every single one of them, but, I mean, I will if you want me to. Oh, um, did that go on the floor? Dang it. Another one on the floor. So, we've got some bids, and we're going to go ahead and throw some more jewelry in there. Um, I should be losing a lot of weight getting up and down, up and down, up and down. I got my calorie count in for the day or whatever you want to call it. All right. Oh, and then this is in your bag. Now, this is really pretty. It is very wrinkly, um, but it is so cute. And it does have a tiny bitty hole. Just a little one, though. It was so pretty. I didn't want to not put it in there. See, right there, it's got a little teeny tiny icky, but I didn't care. It's the colors. So that's going to go in there. And then this is going in, another little handkerchief. I don't really know what the star. And, oh, this is the one that had like the little, I think it might be a tiny thing of either fingernail polish or lipstick or something. I don't know. But I thought that they kind of went with the, the red, white, and blue stuff. So I put it in. So let's put some more jewelry in. We got bids. And we can take this up to, you know, whatever. Oh, these are cute. These are enamel. Look how cute those are. Those are old vintage enamel. Very nice. It's kind of cool. And then, and I like to, I, I sell Christmas all year long. So, here is this. Cutie patootie. Oh, I just found another red, white, and blue necklace. Look how cute that is. 
I love that color jewelry. I'm putting stuff in, y'all. I'm putting stuff in. Don't leave me yet. Oh, I had these last week, and I really thought somebody would buy these because they are just adorable. My God, I think these are so cute. These are little pins. They're skunks, and the skunks have clothes pins on their noses. They don't even like the way they smell. Now, this one, and I can see, barely, that it's got a little missing enamel on the clothes pin. But look how cute those little guys are. They don't even like the way they smell. Man. Crazy. That's it. I'm getting stuff, I promise. Uh, this says vintage pen marked. Can't read. Okay. Nope, I can't read it either. It looks like they... I blotted it out or something, but it's heavy. It's a nice heavy brooch. That's going in. And if you don't, I know there's some people that don't do Christmas, and that's okay. Uh, if, if you if I put Christmas jewelry in there. And you don't want it, just tell me and I will uh, take it out. It's not a problem. I've had, you know, people do that and I'm and I'm fine with that. Um, here are some more vintage clip earrings. Those are the ones I thought looked like boobs. I don't know why. I just did. I thought, oh, this is so pretty. Uh, this, oh, very bright. This is enamel. Isn't that pretty? The enamel's really good on it, too. It's kind of a, like a real dark pinkish red. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. And I'll get your invoice to you by Sunday sometime. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'll probably see you at Rosie's sale. I do like Rosie's sales. They're nice. That girl's got the prettiest glass. I told her the other night she was the queen of glass. Do you guys think these are old? Because I think they are. And I think they're quite amazing. Um, but here's the clasp on them. I really do think these are older. I really do. Um, what I think is, I think the favorite thing is old. And I think somebody replaced this with a little different colored thing right there. Because I do believe that's an older, uh, clasp. But these are so cool. They're pinks and blues. Uh, just a really neat, unusual kind of bead that I don't I don't normally see. Really different. I'm going to go ahead and throw them in there. Yeah, I think it is too. I think it's really old. Um, and again, I think that little silvery part, I think that they've traded it out. Like maybe it was, they just had to fix it or whatever. Um, for me, if I was keeping it, I would just find something that maybe wasn't. And that could just be me. Maybe I'm wrong. You know, maybe it's the original little piece. But um, yeah, these are super awesome. I love these beads. I've never seen beads like this before. 
And then here is a little brooch. It's cute. And it's, I don't, in this light, you can't really tell, but it's got like a little turquoise looking little thing that's going to go in there. Um, so I'll put another piece in. If anybody is wanting to bid, you better get your bids in because I am going to, did I even put a stop in yet? Did I? I need to get back to where I was. Okay. Yeah, so if you want in, you need to get in because I'm going to be putting a stop in in a minute. I'm trying to find something awesome. Why can't I find something else? Oh, I'll put those in another bag. Those are terrific. What's this? She says sterling silver bracelet. I don't know. If it is sterling silver awesome if not i'm not gonna call it sterling's it, although it really could be this is a really nice little solid bracelet but it's not see with her stuff she would if it was silver looking she'd put sterling on it but i don't know if this is sterling or not but by the weight of it it feels pretty good i mean it does it feels it does feel pretty good but i can't say that i i, I just i don't know I'm not going to say it. It'll just get me in trouble. Somebody will be like, no, oh, that wasn't Sterling. I'm like, yikes. And I like this bracelet, too. Let me go ahead and put it in there. Because I think it's kind of cool. It looks, is it red, white, and blue? Oh, come on. Well, I like the bracelet. That's a pretty bracelet. Okay, so I've got Gina's at 40. Carol is out. Now, if you want in, I'm going to go ahead and put my stop in, which means I'm no longer putting jewelry in the bag. Once the stop goes in, the jewelry, I don't put anything else in. Um, so if you want to bid on this bag, you need to get in. You are getting all of this. Now, these beads, I probably won't wrap separately. If you have a small chain or something like that, I'll definitely put them in their own little bag inside of here. And like these, these will go in their own bag inside of here. I don't want them, you know, shipped um, and not separated. So I try to be as careful as I possibly can. Bunches of earrings. Um Really cool bracelets, earrings, pins. Like I said, I don't know. I don't know if this is sterling or not. I'm not selling it as sterling, but if it is, good for you. <laughs> Big brooch. And then these are um, enamel. I love enamel. And the enamel, I usually try to put it separately too, just so because enamel can get nicked up. You know, I mean, these aren't perfect, but they're they're pretty good. So we want to keep them that way. More here. That please better let didn't go on the floor. Okay, I think that is it on there. I'm gonna make sure that I so this bag right here is really full. It, it it doesn't look full, but I mean it's heavy. And so since Carol was out, this is going to go to Gina. Thank you, ladies. I have more jewelry. <laughs> I'm going to show you the antique jewelry I have right now. Um, Like that. 
And I'm probably going to sell these two little pieces together. Um, and then if, if I, and I know some of you know more than I know. Uh, so if, if these earrings, if you don't think they're antique, just tell me, but I'm pretty sure they are. Um, I do believe the stones are in the center are glass. I'll let you look at them. I, I think I'm just going to sell the two pieces together. Um, here are the earrings. I think the these little pieces right up here, I think these might be copper. Oh, you're welcome, Gina. Then these are the earrings. Now look at the backs of them. Very, very cool. I wouldn't, I don't know an age on them for some weird reason. I want to say, I want to say 20s because they look a little, I don't know, Art Deco, not really. Maybe 30s, 40s, I, I don't know. But if you know, if somebody knows, then just tell me, please. I just think they're so, so pretty. See, there's not a maker on them. I think that this little piece right here might be copper. I think. And then here's the back. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Especially the back of it kind of gives it away when they're old like that. Um, and say, I think that the... And heck, I don't know. Maybe it might even... the little piece that goes in your ear might be gold. Heck, I don't know. I, I know they're old. They are quite amazing. They hardly weigh anything. And if you got up close like I am, yeah, these are old. Those little... The little stones around... If you can see, and I don't think you can, but all of those are prong set all the way around. They're not glued. Although glued in stones are just as good, but these are all prong set. These little teeny tiny stones are prong set. Amazing. Wow. So you're going to get these and I'm going to put this in also. Look at this little brooch. It is so pretty. Uh, and I know that, and I'm pretty sure the back of this, I'm, I think it's copper. Needs a cleaning. Isn't that pretty? And the stones on it look really nice to me. Yeah, super nice. And they're all prong set also. So... The earrings and the, the brooch, I'm starting them out. This, you're going to get both of them. I know I'm probably stupid, but, you know, I, I, I mean, I got to get rid of this stuff. I have so much of it. Harley, quit. Don't be bad. I'm going to start the pair out, but both things for $22. Go lay down, buddy boy. You can't, you can't be over here. So I drop something and you, you, you will eat it. You can eat it. So starting, you get both pieces, you get the brooch and the earring, starting it out at $22. Super nice. I love the back of these. That's, and usually that's the way I can tell when something is older, just by the, you know, like Gina was saying, the construction of it. I mean, you can tell that that is an older, older piece. I definitely got to get a hold of this Jason. Um, he seems so knowledgeable and so nice. If I don't have any interest in them, it's okay. Um, I don't usually things like this. I, I'll, I'll throw a piece of Trifari or I'll throw a piece of Coro. But antique jewelry like this, I usually will not throw in bags or purses. 
Now, today the bag went pretty high, and so I did throw in some really good good pieces. So I'm happy with that bag. Whoever was, I'm like, I don't remember who got it. Isn't that awful of me? I think it's Margo. I think it's Margo. Yeah, that girl's going to have so much jewelry. I want to go to Margo's house. I'm going to Margo's house. <laughs> Margo lives a long ways away. Now, I've had these on before, and I think they're really cute, and I'm bringing them back. These are bone china. They are so super cute for spring. And trust me, spring's coming. I'm tired of winter. Um, they are little um, napkin ring holders. And they are birds. Are they not the cutest thing? And they are bone china. Fine bone china. And then you get the, the little napkins are a really light pastel pink. And there are four of them, and I have two extra napkins. And I'm going to start these out. I'm going to start them out at $8. Hey, you don't need to eat no earrings. How about if mom, when mom gets done, she gets you some chicken? Yeah. These are adorable, laying on your table for spring. The little birds. And then these are old linens. These are old linen napkins. And you get four of these. And the little um, birds, they are um, bone china. <laughs> and these days, Margo's going to have a big sale, and we're all going to go to Margo's sale. <laughs> get four of these, and they are starting out at $8. He's just laying under there now. He's like, Mom, please get off the computer. If I don't have any interest, it's okay. They are really, really cute. I wonder how cute they would be for curtain holders. Would that work for a curtain holder, you know, like little birds in your curtains? They might be kind of cute, too. I don't know. We'll just set them over there. If you decide, you can always email me. I always go by whoever emails me first because when the sale's over, I usually have people email me, did this sell? Did that sell? And then whoever's first is who gets it. That's just the way I work it. So uh, and don't forget I have the Pyrex over there. Uh, what else? Okay, I already sold that. I sold the travel on bag. The travel on bag was so cool. Um, let's do some more jewelry. Why not? I'm going to take it out of this bag. This bag... Um, is it's got a little bit of marks in there and I don't like that. So I'm glad I found these other bags. I think I got the, yeah, I know I didn't get these from Linda. I got these, I got these the other day. That's right. Okay. So we're going to put it in this little green cloth bag. They just kind of go like that. So we can build this, um, <laughs> Everybody wants to go. Yes, and Judy's too. Yeah, you know Judy's got some good jewelry to it. And I'm sure Judy's got some. I know all of you got good jewelry. I know all of you do. Okay. Uh-oh. Don't eat any of that, Harley. This is the first brooch in this bag. This bag's going to start out at $12. I just always look and see if there's a mark or anything or... I always try to see if there's anything missing, but man, I know I miss stuff. Okay, I didn't see anything missing. It. Here's your first brooch. I don't know how old it is, but it's, you know, it's heavy. Not flimsy or anything. There's the back of it. Some of you can tell really well just by looking at the backs and stuff, you know. Me, I'm still kind of learning, and um, I'm sure I've sold a lot of jewelry that was probably supposed to be more, but whatever. I have fun doing it, so. I think this is abalone inside this little brooch. It's not a real big brooch, but it sure is cute. And this bag is starting out at $12. Now, this necklace is not old, but I absolutely love this thing. I would still wear this. 
If you wanted to, maybe you could even take it off this rope thing and put it on a chain. Look how pretty that is. And then these little, they're, these kind of float around. It kind of reminds me of Kirk's Folly, but it's not. It's, this is not Kirk's Folly. I'm not selling it as Kirk's Folly. I promise you, I am not. Um, it just kind of reminds me of that. But it's on this like satin, this satin cord or whatever. It's actually a really nice one. But look how pretty that is. If it were me, I would probably, and, and, and I would probably wear it with the cord too, but I think I'd put it on a really pretty heavy gold uh, chain. I like it. And I thought this brooch was kind of cool. What? Can I still sell it? Will I get in trouble if I sell it? See, I don't know these things. I'm like, seriously, I do not know these things. I'm going to leave um, this on the cardboard because it's so cool and I want to show them together. That's what I'm doing. This is a bull. And a, a bullfighter. Two separate. Oh. Okay, I'm going to call that um, just a piece of plastic. So I've got the bullfighter and the bull. And they're actually, they're two separate uh, brooches. Yeah, I don't want to get in any trouble, but I'm just going to, oh, it just came off the paper. So um, I'm going to keep it in the bag. I just, I just don't want to get in any trouble because I know there's certain things that you cannot sell and you will get in trouble. And I don't want no trouble. Oh, here's a pair. Of, let's see. Here's the bull and here's the bullfighter. That's kind of cool. Bull and bullfighter. <gasps> if it was harvested before the ban. That's kind of like ivory and stuff and certain different things. If it was, if you got it before a certain date or whatever, then you don't get in trouble or something like that. I don't really know all the, I don't really know all the, um, you leave that stuff alone right there. I don't really know all the rules. I probably should really check it out. You ladies keep me on my toes, okay? And then here is an old beaded bracelet. These are stretchy. They fit everyone. I love it. So that's going to be in your bag. And then we have this. Uh, I think this is by JJ. It is a very tall giraffe. It looks like pewter, but I don't think it is. But it is marked JJ on the back. So that's in your bag. And then we had this necklace in the bag. Get out of there. And then we had this brooch in the bag. And the other one. Um... <laughs> And what else? Let's throw some more stuff in there because this bag is light. These are um, purist, but they are so cute. Look how cute these are. I don't think they're real old or anything, but they are very pretty. They're going to be in your bag. And what else? Looks like Harley's daddy's home. This actually needs a um, this actually needs a a chain, but I think this is so pretty. If you got the right chain on this, look how pretty that is. Some kind of stones or something. Uh, it's no markings or anything on the back. It just needs a really pretty chain on it. I think that's gorgeous. That's going to go in your bag. Um, let's see. Here's a ring. Uh, up in this little cavity part of it, it says 925. 
Now, I never sell anything as 925 because you can mark anything you want and doesn't necessarily mean that that's what it is. It could be a 925 overlay. Um, there's some letters before it. In I don't know. I can't read them. The ring needs a good cleaning up in there, I'll tell you that. But it does say 925. It's super nice looking. It really is super nice looking. I mean, it very well could be. But I'm not selling it like that. But the stamp is in there. And then it is... I think it's... It's so hard to tell with these things. Nine and a half or a ten. Really pretty. And if you... Like I said, if you look up in the little cavity part of it, it does say 925 up there. It very well could be. It, it's it's pretty well made. That's going in. Remember, this bag starts at $12. And then here's a cute little bracelet. This isn't old, but it is really cute. It's got a little clamshell on it. It says, I'm... I'm enough. And you are. Everybody, you're enough. And then here is a necklace. I'm this is gonna this is gonna be the last thing I put in this bag if I don't get any more bids. Remember, you have to be above the stop. This is a really pretty silver tone necklace with a heart with a little with a little pearl right there. Really pretty. Okay. Where's my bag? Here it is. So it's all going to go in this green bag right here. So you had this pretty necklace here. I've got Carol at $12. And I like this. I like it. I like it. I would like it on a gold chain better, but it's still very pretty. Um, here is a really pretty um, brooch. And this is I think those are glass. Old bead bracelet. And this one. I won't talk about it. Uh, <laughs> the little bracelet here. The giraffe. And again, this is going to need um, a chain. But it is so pretty. You get a chain on that and it's going to be amazing. You had the bull and the um, bullfighter. You had these which are really, they're pierced. I don't think they're really old or anything, but they're really cute. And then this is marked 925. Again, can't promise you that it is, but it looks pretty good. And then you have the heart necklace. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and just put that in a bag so it doesn't get wrapped around everything. Harley is outside with his dad, and I can hear the dog in the back barking. Kevin, our neighbors have a dog named Kevin. Probably likes to go down there and taunt Kevin, um, run around his cage and bark at him. You know, he's like, Carly, you're so bad. <laughs> you're so bad. He, I, so one of these days, some dog's just going to reach out and grab him. Now, I don't know the, now I don't know the, what this means. Maybe somebody can tell me. Uh, it is marked BN. These are adorable. I wasn't even going to put them in because I didn't know what BN meant. Those are so pretty. And they are vintage. They are screw back. And they say BN. I don't know. BN. You get two of them. For both ears. <laughs> so those are going to go in this little bag. I don't know what that be in. Um, I can't think of anybody. I don't know. Somebody know what BN is? All of you jewelry connoisseurs, please tell me.
I'm just making sure it works before I. Here is a really pretty little um, necklace. It's a little pearl necklace. I just wanted to make sure that the latch worked on it, and it does. That's going to go in your bag. It's a really pretty necklace. Let me see if it, yeah, they're knotted in between. Doug B and Niles, is that good? I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> I could be selling a thousand dollar pair of earrings right now and don't even know it. I'm going to go ahead and get my stop in. So if you want to bid, you need to be above the stop. If you are not above the stop and it goes in, you are no longer allowed to bid. Yeah, yes. You know, they have an app now where you can actually hold your phone over it and it will identify the stone and let you know if it's real or not. How does that happen? I mean, seriously, how does that happen? I've got Linda Near and Carol. So, Carol, I need to know if you are in or out. Once we put the stop in, we don't add jewelry anymore. Are you in or out? Oh, awesome. Yes, that is a good and English company. Okay. See, I learn stuff from you guys' stuff all, all the time. I do. I'm trying to think of what else I had that I was going to show today, but I think I've showed just about everything. Um, yeah. I'm looking around, make sure there's. But mostly it was jewelry today because I have so much jewelry. Okay. Thank you, Miss Linda, for bidding. And Carol has it for 25 You ladies are rocking it today. Okay. Now, I don't have anything in this bag. So, we're going to make a bag. And we may make this our last bag today. Um, yeah, it's already 422. So, we've been on for quite a while. So, th this is going to be our last bag of the day. Um, so, if you want a bag of jewelry today, get in, get in, get in. Yes, congratulations to Carol. So I'm just going to randomly just start throwing stuff in this bag. This is so pretty. It's a, it's a leaf, I know. And everybody's like, oh, it's just a leaf. But it's so weird. I don't think I've ever had one like this. Um, it's very uh, flat and just very satiny feeling. So this is going to, oh, this bag will start out at $5. Oh, and then we'll do a drawing. Um, we'll do a drawing. And I was going to do a, give a, away a bag of jewelry today, but I didn't do that. So we'll just do a little drawing with a little bit of money off the shipping and stuff. Here is a cute little bracelet, vintage bracelet. Um... Let's see. Oh, and I do have one other 925 piece that I want to show you, and it is old. Um, let's see. I'm going to put some really funky, funky, funky stuff in this bag. Um, here is a necklace. That's in your bag. Mm -hmm. And I love this necklace. It's a funky necklace, too. This bag's going to be full of funky, cool stuff. Look at this thing. It is chunky. Chunky. Isn't that cool? It's not marked or anything. But it's so cool. It needs to be clean. But it is so super, super cool. So that's going to go in your bag. Uh, let's see. We'll find stuff. We'll find stuff. Uh, I don't think this is real old or anything. I don't even know. This might be copper. I'm not sure. And this is not glass. But it is really pretty. Again, it is not glass, 
but it is very, very pretty. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for stuff. Here is a brooch. Just want to make sure all the stones were in it. I was making sure that center stone looks a little off center. They may have like replaced it or um, just glued it back in or something. But I mean, it still looks really nice. Still looks really super nice, actually. Don't see any markings on the back of it. Um, let's see. Again, we're going to be throwing old stuff, new stuff in this bag. I don't even know what that is. What are you? Oh, it's some sort of necklace. Some sort of necklace. But I'm putting it in. And I kind of like it anyway. Now, I am going to throw these in. But if this bag does not make it to the top of the world, then I'm going to be mad that I put them in. Oh, my God, Twitter. They're not marked, and that's the only reason that I feel like I'm not going to, you know, just be able to, you know, wait till you see them. <laughs> Freaking amazing. Look at these. What are they? They are so cool. I don't even know what this is. Like it's, I don't know. But they are so cool and so different. There's like three rhinestones and then a rhinestone and then whatever that thing is. And I don't think it's glass. Now, here's the back of it. And it's, I don't know. I don't think they're extremely, you know, old, but they are the coolest looking earrings I've ever seen. Clean them up and they'll shine. I mean, they will shine. I got to see what Harley has. And it better be a bone. What are you doing? God, why are you being bad today? Sit down. Wait for your dad to come out of the bathroom. My gosh. He is on fire today. <laughs> Oh, mother of pearl, possibly. I don't know. I, I, I really, I'm, I wish I was better. <laughs> I'm going to try to get it up there close. I don't think it's mother of pearl. It's just this, they are so, and they're big and they're, but they're cool. I'm putting them in the bag. You just have to wait and see them when you get them. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm trying to find cool stuff. This will be our last bag of the day. Oh, and then I've got some old children's blocks. If anybody's interested in um, some old children's blocks. And then here is a brooch. We're going to put that in. Um, let's see. We're going to make this a really good bag. So don't worry. We're going to make it a really good bag. I'm just looking through. These are old vintage Avon. They are in the box. They're going to go in. I don't know about you guys, but I like old vintage Avon. I really do. I'm going to make sure he's okay before I'm like, eh, take this guy. And here's my little stick pin. He's a butterfly. I'll probably tissue him up. He's really cute. Uh, here is a pair of uh, teardrop pearls. Earrings. Those are going in. Uh, let's see.
this says hammered copper. Hammered copper. Oh, it's really dark. But I think I think it's a bracelet. It says hammered. She wrote hammered copper on it. I don't know if it's copper or not, but I'm putting it in the bag. So don't take the word for it on the bag because I don't know. I'm just putting it in there. And this is cute, but it's not like, oh, great. Um, this is uh, a little necklace, and then it's got a little bracelet with it. I guess it says Korea or whatever, but um, our maker, it's probably 1980s. Don't worry, y'all. I'm putting more stuff in here. Don't get out until you know what's in it. You never know. Here's a pair of dangoes. Really cute pair of dangoes. Aren't those cute? Yep, I would wear those. I would. I would wear them. Here is a brooch. This is going to be a good bag by the time I'm done. Here's another brooch. Gold tone brooch. I just got to find this awesome stuff to put in there. I know I have the awesome stuff. These are screw backs, vintage screw backs, blue stones. Those will go in. What is this? I keep passing over and over and over it, and I want to know what the hell it is. Well, okay. Oh, it's Sarah Coventry. It's a necklace. By Sarah Coventry. Putting it in. I like Sarah Coventry. She has some pretty cool stuff. Mm. Now this is um, like a Southwest piece of jewelry. Um, it says Sisk on the back. It says Sisk. Oh, yeah, this is a brooch I like. She had 20 bucks on it. I think it's a really cool old brooch. I wouldn't say it's like super old or anything, but I just loved it. It's a key. And it's got all these little danglies from it. Isn't it cute? This little key, and then it's got all these little charms hanging from it. I think this is a cool, cool uh, uh, brooch. I really like that one. I remember when I found that one the other day. I was like, oh, I like that. Yeah, it looks like a bear claw on that bracelet. Yeah. Oh, just dig through so much of this stuff. It's like crazy. We'll wrap it up here in a minute. If I don't get any more bids on it, we'll wrap it up. What's this one? Mm. 
I'm gonna put some like awesome in there. I'm gonna find some awesome. Wait, where's all my awesome sauce? Well, I'm going to put this little poodle in there. It's a cute little poodle pen. Now, I thought this was neat. Now, if, if anything is sterling, it could be this. Um, it, it's so delicate and so fine. It does have its safety chain on there. But this is a bracelet. Look at this bracelet. I know you really can't see it um, that well on this camera, but this thing is so light and so delicate it does not say sterling on it anywhere but i think it could be but i'm not promising anything it's got um a lion a giraffe uh and it looks like an emu on there yeah this is a really cool bracelet it, and it might be i just haven't seen it on there but anyway, that's going to go in the bag also. Hi, Pamela13. You just got here and we're just getting ready to leave. <laughs> it's okay. You know me. I'll have more jewelry next week. Um, if you want in on this particular bag, you need to get in because, and this is the last bag of the day. What's this? Vintage pen, $20. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and throw it in there. I wanted to make my last bag really, really good. But I'm, I'm, I think we've, um, oh, I think this is kind of pretty. Like, if you're a reseller, I mean, if you've got somebody that, that loves that mother of pearl and wants to get their mom a really pretty older brooch, that's kind of pretty. And I think everybody needs a kangaroo, so that's going in. Okay, guys, I don't see anything else. He's coming out, buddy. You just got to wait for him, okay? Well, he wants to see his dad so bad. Um, Yeah. So I think we're going to call that bag good. So if you want to, I'm going to go ahead and throw the stop in here in a minute. I'm just checking to make sure. I'm, I was, I'm always looking. Oh, I'm going to throw this in, too, because I really, really like it. <laughs> it's a telephone. It's a vintage Avon telephone. I think you wear it like this. So you've got the phone on one side and the, the little dialer on this side. And then it has its original box. Gina, I see Krista was in at 20. Gina's at 25. What's that? Ooh la la. No, it's not really ooh la la. Um, but it is cute. We got a little enamel looking um, Christmas tree brooch. And those aren't uh, um, stones. They're just uh, little pieces of metal that look like the Christmas balls all over it. So we'll put that in there. And then I'm going to try to do some investigating on the Boucher, Boucher set that I found. Um, it is lovely. It's silver. Um, oh, and guess what else I found? But I, but I, I'm gonna have to have somebody work on this, okay? Before I even offer it. Um, and I don't see who I've got. No, uh, Gina. Now this is not going in the bag. This is not going in the bag. Uh, this is so beautiful. It is a um, coro. It's called a. I'll get it here in a second. Coral duet. Um, I and I see that it has 
a couple of little missing stones. And of course, I don't put stones in anything. So uh, I will have somebody do that for me. Uh, but it's it says Coro Duet on the back. So you would unclip this side and take it out and then unclip this side and take it out. And it turns into, I think, shoe clips or you can wear it as a brooch. Absolutely beautiful. So eventually this will be available. I just saw it laying here. So I was like, oh, I'm going to show them. That's so pretty. Okay, I've got my, got my stop going in. So it's... Um, yeah, I think so too. Um, I got it at auction a couple of weeks ago. It really needs a great cleaning, you know. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it cleaned, and then um, I may offer it on here. Um, Let's see. I don't know where this piece went. I was going to show you this one, but of course, you know me. I don't know where anything's at. If you can see all the jewelry that's over here, you would just have a heart attack. Oh, dang it. Hold on, guys. Well, I can't find it. Dang it. As soon as I like, as soon as I like get offline, I'll be like, oh, there it is, you know. One of these days, if I don't clean this mess up, boyfriend's gonna kick me out. Oh, I can't find it. I have another one that does that. Um, and it's really beautiful, um, but I can't find it. So um, I need to know if... Okay, Christmas is out. Yeah, I've seen this same one uh, for like $150 or something like that. Of course, I wouldn't sell it for that on here. But um, yeah, it is really pretty. I've got another one that does the same thing, but it's got beautiful blue stones in it. Um, so... Okay, so this one is going to be sold to um, Gina. So I'm going to put it all in the bag. And again, uh, everybody will get their invoices on. Um, there's so much in here. Oh, my little butterfly. I'm, you know what? I, I want to wrap him before I put him in the bag. He's very kind of a delicate little guy. Um so I'll probably put him in some tissue paper. I'm going to show you this a, a few other things really quick. Um, and you guys can bid on them if you want. If not, you know, this is just some of the stuff that I don't put in bags. Um, it will need a chain. So this one is going to Gina. I wish I could find that little thing. You guys would absolutely love it. Um, okay, so I have this heart, and I know that it's old. Look at the scroll work on this silver. It is silver. It is marked 925 silver, and I have a difficult time um, opening it I because I can't remember how to open it. Hold on. Um, it, it's it's quite unique. Um, well, here's it part way open. Look at that. And then this side flips open too. I just can't remember. It's very intricate. My mind don't work like that. I don't remember how to open it. All four pieces open. Dang it. Who are you going to be smarter than the equipment you're operating? I, 
I have, I have no, oh, here it is on this side. Is that it? There it is. So it opens like this. It's like you have this whole thing that opens and then folds back into this, this heart. It truly is an old, amazing piece. Um, and if you look right at the top right here, it is marked 925. Now, this thing would need a beautiful silver chain on it. It really would. Don't don't just get some old icky chain or whatever, please. And it just it just goes all back together so beautifully. And look at this, look at the scroll kind of work on it. Isn't that beautiful? There's the side of it. It's all beautiful. I'm starting it out at $25. I know, right? Of his collection. Oh my gosh, I know. And you know, not even just the jewelry that he has, but um, the swung vases, those big orange, beautiful swung vases. Oh my God, I want them so bad. So bad. I'm starting this heart out at $25. It is, it is, I would say antique. Um, and it is marked 925. Beautiful old piece. It just all folds back together. I just find it very uh, unique. He better have it all insured because insurance only goes up to so much. And then if you don't have it um, listed on your policy, it's not covered. Um, I sold insurance for 15 years. So it, yeah, he better have it. <laughs> he better have it scheduled on his. Uh... Oh, they did in the eighties. Well, thank you, Carol. It looked older than that to me, but it is still nine two five. I absolutely love this thing. I would totally wear it. I, and it takes a while to figure. It's kind of like a puzzle. Oh, your mom wanted one. That's cute. And you can put your little pictures in there of your whole family. I just love it. Well, Carol says it's probably from around the 80s, which still makes it old, I guess. But it is silver. Oh, okay. God, I love you guys. I need each and every one of you to give me lessons. And anytime I don't say something right, you will never offend me. Like, never. I only just learn from that. So, you know, set, leave the bag alone. Don't touch it. Okay, this is going to be my last thing. This is also a great piece of advertising right here. Uh, it's an old yeast food bag, Red Star. This is a great old bag. Um, it does have a couple little spots or whatever on it, but hello, it's old. Uh, it is full of old blocks, uh, old children's blocks. Now, man, these used to be big sellers. Oh, man, did I sell a lot of blocks. And I think I sold some here not too long ago to, what did I sell those to? Leanne, I think. Um, but they're these little blocks. And then the cool thing is, look at these. These ones are plastic. I never find those. Like here's another one. The gold blocks. People like to set them in their house and like spell stuff. You know, like you could write your last name, you know, like on a cabinet or, you know, whatever. There's a bunch of them in here. Um, I didn't count them. There's just a bunch, a bunch of old, old blocks. Um, I don't know. I would maybe guess 35 to 40, maybe more. I, I don't know for sure. I mean, there's a lot of blocks. If anybody's interested in these little blocks, I'm starting them out at $25 for the whole bag. That's a good price for these old blocks. Heck, 
when I had my shop, I'd get $30 for 10 of them, you know. But don't have the shop anymore, so, you know, that's the way it goes. So I'm just digging them out and digging them out. There's tons and tons of old blocks in here. Again, there's a few plastic ones, which are pretty cool and rare. I, I don't find them. As a matter of fact, this is the first time I ever had the plastic ones. So if you're into old blocks, there's still tons of them in here. There's a, there's a crap load of blocks. It's $25 for the whole bag. Most of them are wood, but there are quite a few of, uh, there's quite a few of the little plastic ones. Yeah, right? I know, they made aprons out of everything. Late 70s is when the U.S., Europe, and England started stamping 925 for sterlings. I had no clue. I have no, I had no clue. You know, that's why I'm like relying on people to help me. Yeah, I think Harley's got something again. It's like having a two-year-old. Will you knock it off? No, knock it off. I've had it with you. You're going to go to your room for the whole rest of the day. Why did you go in your room with your dad? Then I wouldn't have had to be yelling at you all day. Be a good boy. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it for me today. <laughs> I got to get this all cleaned up. I got to get Harley fed because he's like acting like he's starving to death. Um, and thank you for all your help too. I, I really do appreciate, um, all of the, um, help on this because I really don't know. Like I said, I just found, I found Jason online the other night. Um, and I've been watching his stuff and if you haven't seen him, it's Jason Adams, I think, um, watch him. I mean, the stuff that he has is uh, unreal. I mean, just unreal. And he's just, he seems like a really nice guy. One of these days I will introduce myself to him, but I mean, I, I'm not in the game like he is, you know, I don't have all that, you know, some of those things, but I do have some pretty nice pieces that I just haven't, you know, brought on or whatever. Cause I just don't know what to do with them. But, um, yeah, pets are like kids always act up when you're busy. This little guy does. I mean, seriously, he's ornery. Um, but I should get everybody invoiced by uh, Sunday. Yeah. Oh, and I will not be on next Friday. Uh, my friend that owns a cafe, she is going to Florida, and I'm covering for her all week, trying to help take care of the place. Um, uh, me and a couple other ladies there will be making sure everything's um, okay. I don't know. Does he have live sales? You know what? I just, so far I've just seen, um, just him talking about his, the things that he has or things that he has sold in the past or things that he has thrifted. I mean, this guy's amazing, Krista. You would absolutely dig it. I'm not kidding you. It's amazing. I'm, I wish I would have found him a long time ago because some of the jewelry that I sold, I would be like, oh, wow. Um, he's really cool. It's, it's not just jewelry that he does. Yeah, but it's still very interesting. I mean, he's and he's just really down to earth. He's not boring whatsoever. No, it's not just like a boring thing. I mean, he is really hip and really cool to me anyway. Um, so I think you would really like it. Yeah, check it out. It's really cool. Um, so anyway, everybody, thank you so much. I will not be here next Friday. Like I said, I'm helping out her more next week than... Um, so I really won't have time to do my sale next week, but I'll be the following week. Um, and I will get everybody's invoices out to them on Sunday. And if there was anything that didn't sell and you see that you want it, just email me. If somebody else hasn't already spoken up for it, I just do first come first serve basis. Um, so yeah, you guys have a good weekend. I got to get my doggy fed. Talk to you guys later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Hi, Chicago lady.
Did I miss saying hi to you? Hi, Roxana. If I miss saying hi to anybody, I apologize. I've been such a chatty little thing. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Talk to you later. Boyfriend's already snoring in there.